Ireland! <laughs> Live from the end of days, as dreamed by a baby who's also a psychic, it is Dragon Friends! <laughs> this is one of only four more um, streams that we're going to do as part of Stream of Annihilation, uh, Tomb of Annihilation series. So we have four more adventures for you guys to oh. get to Omu, get home. Uh -huh. I cannot stress enough, some of the other parties have already gotten home. Some what, are what are they doing on the doing? streams? Just, just laundry. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird, actually. Yeah, they're just... just um, Did they taxes? cheat? Sorry? Yeah. They did they cheat? cheat? No, they just paid attention to clues, <laughs> listened to their dungeons. <laughs> they haven't probably... Oh, did they have... So cheated. Yeah, that sounds like cheating. Did talk. they have lackluster characters? Well, ooh, 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 starting ooh, some shit. Yeah, no come at me, shame. you team. It's actually... Um, <laughs> one of the things we've been talking about is doing a map of everywhere you guys have been in Chult. <laughs> and if you see it, it's like just a big spiral. <laughs> <laughs> like a scribble by an angry kid. Um, all right. Anyone, any business? Anyone have any questions? Uh, yes. yes. Who are these other groups and how do we go, can we still beat them? You met these other groups in oh. Seattle. They you were very kind to you. The yes. Rolling Boys, the Dicey Dice the Girls, soft boys. the Spooky Fellas. And Joe Manganiello's Cool Dudes of Doom. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah Those are the only other three Dungeons and Dragons groups. Remember when Joe Magello beat the shit out of you? Yeah. It was, yeah. It was very upsetting. Oh. But do, if, if they get home oh, before we do... tweet so much about Magic Mike before coming? <laughs> do, if, if they get home before us, do they get a prize or something? Or they, already, they already got their prize. Are we in competition with them? Yes. Oh. And what won. was the prize? What Six was the million dollars. Yeah. Oh. Six million US dollars. Oh no! Oh. Yeah. Jahaka Anchorage, den of thieves and malcontents, a secret port where the dread pirate king Lakasar sends forth his fleet to harry the merchant vessels that dot the seas around Chult. The dragon friends have managed to con their way into the pirate's secret base and through a mixture of bravado, skullduggery and spooky storytelling mm. are now loose and on the prowl right under Lakasar's nose. Also, you recently exploded a man with a gemstone for an eye, so, you know, he's had a bad day. Your target is the fabled treasury of Jahaka Bay, the last resting place of so much of the Lord's Alliance's expeditionary plunder. The treasury is jealously guarded by the pirate lords of Jahaka, and each captain holds a key, all three keys of which are needed to open the locks at the treasury's gates. Um, one of these keys is perhaps now in front of you, the other is momentarily out of reach. Meanwhile, Frizo. Yes? Left alone by your comrades for just a couple of hours, uh, you have convinced the fleet of Lacus's flagship to join you in, I guess, a kind of death cult? <laughs> yeah, I think the last thing that happened was I um, cast I some tentacles from the ground. Yeah, I have here presiding over a ritual to flense the bones and damn the souls of two pirate slaves forever. Yeah, and then what happened was uh, I, I, I made them fight. Yep, to you the threw death. a knife to them. Yeah, I threw a knife to them, said you're going to fight, and now I guess everyone who saw that would be... They're chanting your name. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, they are Yee. chanting your name. Um, in, in fear or admiration or both? Oh, or look, it's hard to tell. Tears, there are uh, a lot of tears. Yeah. Can we see that? Freezer! 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 <laughs> Just like that. Um, but imagine yeah, yeah. like 12 people doing that. Yeah, it's about 12 wretched slaves and pirates. Does that mean they... Can we hear the audience do it? Okay, ready? All... It's, it, it's cry smiling. One, two, three. And Frieza does just exactly that laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't uh, know. It's, it's pretty thrilling. Yeah, you're <laughs> <laughs> also, guys, Michael's super hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> your doomsday brethren have loaded your new friend, Captain Drake Feather's ship, with black powder. And you're making it very clear um, that the dragon friend should absolutely never leave you alone to your own devices again for any circumstances. Mm. So, why don't we start with you? What's going on? Well, Drake Feather. The only way for us to beat these pirates yes. that I can un that I can possibly think of is to ram this ship that I'm I'm sorry you have very strong feelings about. I, I like it. It's mine. Yes. Um, we need to sail it into their port and burn it to the ground. And that's the only way. That's literally the only way. Well, if you can think of a better way to do it. I don't know. Five, right? four, three, two, I one. No, I, no, I, no, I, no, I was talking it. when you were counting. That's unfair. <laughs> Does it stop? What? Do it again. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah, okay, all right, ready? All right. Um, if you can think of a better way. Five, four, Wait, three, two, one. You know you flustered no, me. No, sorry. You, and you know I'm easily flustered. 
Now, you already passed your um, persuasion check unfairly because there is no justice in the world. Jeez. So, Drake Feather is for now bound to do what you said. And so yes, it's fine. It's good. It's he's good. passed the metaphorical keys of the Pride of Candlekeep over to you. So, uh, tell, teach me, how can we rig this ship? We'll get on the safe pirate ship, yes. which we can sail in and pretend we're pirates still. Okay. Then the other ship... My gonna, ship. Yes. Yeah, well, my stop beloved calling ship. ship. Stop calling it that. It's yeah. my ship now. Um... <laughs> We're going to sail it directly into the heart of this port and blow it to smithereens. So I need you to set it up with wicks and, and, and sort of dynamite and whatnot. So it will blow up as it as as it hits the port. And if you fuck this up, yeah. you saw what I did to those two men in the with the tentacles. Yes, we all saw that. <laughs> is, that is that what you want? I, I, no, I think I've made it perfectly clear that that's not what I want. All right, we'll do a good job then. I won't feed you to the tentacles. Uh, right. Like a good first mate. Uh, Captain Drake Feather has his men scurry around. Now a broken man. Yeah, yeah. And, and Remember when you met him? He was so full of like vim. And on his, dare fir- I say on his first commission. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he has his men scurry about placing the. Are they impact? Um, these or, are barrels, or is, or is tightly it? packed barrels of black powder that are laden down with pitch that you were meant to crack open and use to um, mm. fire the guns that are mounted to the front of the ship. Yeah, which are a dwarven design, sort of um, like aqua buses. Mm. So it's not gunpowder; it's black powder, mm-hmm. which is basically the same, but less efficient and more smoke and more magical. Well, yeah, it's I guess. <laughs> I, I was, look, let's, right. let's just skirt over that one. So um, I'm gonna get uh, Drake Feather to do that yes. with all of our men, and then when we're about to launch the ship, I'm gonna get all of the. I guess we call them cultists nowadays. Yeah, you're death cultists. <laughs> death, yes, I like that. Uh, the Death Cultists and I and Drake Feather, if you'd like to come, or you can go down with the ship if he chooses. That's that's the choice he has. Uh, live free or die. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Live, live Frizo or die. Yeah, live free or die. <laughs> <laughs> t-shirt. That, we'll, that's a t-shirt. t-shirt. Yeah. That we'll is get, a t-shirt. We'll get on the pirate ship and then sail in um, so we can go and rescue these guys while we burn down the, 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 the port. The pirate ship is huge. It's the flagship of um, Captain Lacassau's flagship. It's about twice as big as the Pride of Candlekeep, and it's already anchored in the bay. So right. you would probably need to use a boat to get any further. We Any closer. Need a boat. So if hang we, on, there are two ships. There are two ships moored side oh, by side. Oh, but we can't get any closer with the pirate ship. No, but the Sturge has like strong boarding ships and like oh, okay. yeah, landing we'll, ships. We'll, we'll get in a landing ship and then head towards yeah. the head towards the coast and rescue these idiots. We'll take a spare one as well. Let's take two ships so we can pack these. Uh, by ships, I mean like rowboats. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, we'll take two little rowboats. All right, great. So you start packing the Pride of Candlekeep, and uh, you also have men chocking the rudder and sort of setting it on a collision course. It's still anchored, so when the anchor is lifted, it will drift inexorably into the harbour okay. and destroy itself on the rocks against um, the anchorage itself. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, a small explosion in a watchtower. Um, Zaruma al safain genius of the waves, dread pirate lord of the Sword Coast. Marvellous voice. Lies dead <laughs> at your feet and the deafening sound of an explosion still rings in your ears and you have seconds to act for surely somebody noticed that have we hurt ourselves oh that's a good point i didn't do that at the end of the last the one explosion. so everybody yeah. make for me a dexterity check I'm to sexist. negate half this damage also i was outside uh nope i rolled a six i um, didn't get it 19 plus how ca- i've got 14 dexterity is that right yeah. All right, you needed to get, um, get 17. So who beat 17? I just me. turned Not around me. to ask Benny if he could turn down the fallback. I was like, hey, can you turn that down a little bit? And he just mouthed me, get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eden, uh, you failed. You How much take, damage? Uh, you take uh, the full eight damage. Ow. Frizo, Phil, you do a backflip, I guess, and take four. I got an 11, but I was outside already. Don't you also have uncanny dodge? Oh, uh, I'll give you advantage because you have uncanny dodge. So you can roll it one more time if you okay. want. Okay. That's 11 plus 7. 18. That'll get you. Great. So you take 4 damage. Sons of guns. Excellent. All right. Okay, so 8 damage. Um, and the tower is now burning. Um, Isn't it made of stone? Oh, no. Made oh, and your two pirate friends have dropped their cutlasses and fled. Okay. I grab one of the cutlasses uh, and... Um, um, uh, I, I, oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, no, please. After you. Oh, thank you. I um, get a key <laughs> off the pirate <laughs> <laughs> All right. While the other two dragon friends are being so polite, Baston loots the corpse and indeed pulls a key from around the neck. Oh, and he's got like chains and jewels and shit. He's got a coat made of gemstones. Oh, yeah. I want that fancy coat to go over my Do you want the magic cutlass as well? Yes. Yeah, give me all that. Give me (laughs) that. Baston (laughs) takes a second magic sword. Uh, You have a a coat of fine gemstones. And I want his rings and shit too. Yeah, all right. You have have all of that. and And you have a necklace that has a bejeweled key on it. Sick. 
Write it down. I mean, how about I look? Okay. And okay, Phil, right. you've got the eye. Can right? I have? Yeah, I've, I've, I've got his eye. You did get the eye. You actually pulled that out while the combat was still going. Yeah. And it killed him, if I recall correctly. Is the eye a? So that's my speaker. So now I've got a telephone, right? Like I've got the listening stone and the speaking stone. I hate stone. that you call it that, but yes, you have. Uh, you have. Oh, I hear what you're saying. That's you can talk. I do. I didn't think of that, but it's true. That's not the intended device. But if you are holding that stone and talk and someone is holding the listening stone <gasps> that you got from Drake Feather. no matter where you are in the world, you can hear it as if they're whispering to you. But does Frizo have that stone? Yes. But doesn't doesn't somebody else have that stone and could they also not uh, Yes, listen? Liara Porter would also be able to hear and indeed speak. She's mm. got a duplex one, like you. Okay. Uh, I put so my pants back on. Good. Um, no, is actually, there Frizo else? doesn't have it. You, um, One of you guys had it because you used it to identify where Safane was. Yeah, oh, I guess Baston has it. Yeah, 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 the listening stone. I have the listening stone. You have everything. So now I can hear Phil just thoughts. Only when you're holding the stone. No, Her not thoughts my thoughts. thoughts speech? My speech. What? Oh, when you talk. Okay. What if I swallowed it? <laughs> what would happen? You'd have to try. Because nah, not yet. You'd have to poop it out again. Um. Okay, uh, hold on to it. Is there anything else in the house? Uh, there are two... Ordinary cutlasses, one of which Bobby got, and everything else is on fire, so there's nothing, no time really. I'll grab the other cutlass. Great, you have a cutlass each. Congratulations. It's a D8. Um, Essentially, it's a longsword. And we, we roll out of that house onto the sand. Like, literally roll. I thought that was a metaphorical roll. No, 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 we're rolling. Because right, we're probably like, th- we might be on fire a bit. Great, so. you're not, but you roll anyway. Okay, so we've got one key to the lock. Yes. And that thing's on fire, and it's the middle of the night. And the guards are probably going to come. Let's ghost. Do you want to let's get out of here? Yeah. Let's run down what the beach. What about those other keys? Who's got them? Probably the other the, the other pirate lord who we already met. And there's another pirate lord who's coming in the morning. Yes? Yeah. Mm. For the gathering Cause the, cause of they, the pirates. Because they are, yeah, they're gathering the pirates. Wait, if even if we don't get the treasure, if we have the key, they can't get to their treasure. <laughs> 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 yeah, the pirate key lords don't trust each other. This is why they have this lock. So that they can only open the treasury when they're all together. Oh. All right, well, let's bounce. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where are we going to go? Uh, Such a beautiful night, says Filch. Still You're going to have to make a decision. Down in the sand, okay, but up well, at let's. The stars. Um, can we hide behind? All right, a patrol of guards. No, I want to hide behind <laughs> some rocks, like nearby okay. to the thing. All of so you that make. We can see people if they All come. of you quickly make stealth checks for me and tell me the value. This is opposed. 20. Oh, I'm. 20. <laughs> oh my god, go, Filch. <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> Um, in a sec, in, in a moment of genius, um, Bobby leaps into the water and uses his quiver as a snorkel. Um, Baston, you actually just seem to shift your body and become a palm tree. And nobody knows <laughs> how. Um, a Phil- beautiful, a handsome beautiful palm tree. Shiny, bejeweled palm tree. Phil, bearing a mind, you rolled a three. What do you do? Well, she's like, would you look at the stars? <laughs> <laughs> Me can see the Horned Goblin constellation. Baston? And with that, a patrol Bobby? of six guards rushes across the beach, sees Filge, and yells out, Stop! And as they, they do that, you start hearing a bell ringing from the old um, Rex Galleon that, oh, oh, yeah. that forms most Was of the Was there place. only one bell? Yeah, at the moment. No, this isn't the bell that you cut. This is oh, another one another bell. Okay. On, the, on the ship. The main bell. How uh, many How many um, patrolmen six have come? Dudes. There's six of them, and they're about 40 feet away. Um, Hang on, who rang the bell? When he yelled, stop. Um, oh, yeah. another, another watchman, presumably. Bloody speed of sound. Uh, also, explosion. <laughs> Phil just in the sand, so she starts, like, putting sand on top of her like a turtle, like, burying it there. Like, <laughs> oh. her, like, shuffling deep into the sand, just so, like, her eyes are poking <laughs> out. Yeah, that's your action. Um... <laughs> Best on. What do you do? Um, I'm gonna wait for them to get closer so I can surprise attack. Them. Okay, great. You're delaying your action. What about you? Uh, I'm gonna. F- are they running in a straight line? They're running towards Filge. This was spread out, but like, not um, awkwardly so. Okay, I'm gonna uh, shoot uh, with my short bow. Great. Uh, into the crowd. Make a sneak attack for me. They haven't spotted you. That's a one, so I get to roll again. Halfling <laughs> luckiness. Would you? Use a lot, a one, so I get to roll again. Oh. <laughs> oh. How many? That's a ten plus. Uh, <laughs> What am I using there? Surely, surely the second one counts. The second one um, for sure the counts. Second, you can only. No, I think I'm gonna let it. It's like, like re-roll. It's, it's such a Simon rule. It, it says no, it says lucky. When you roll a one on an attack roll, uh, you can re-roll um, the die and 
Oh, and must use the new role. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was going to let you, but <laughs> no, since we now know fair. the rules, um, fair's fair. Yeah, you miss. With what are the odds of two ones in a row? Uh, one in four hundred. It's at night time. Oh it's night time. You're using a bow. What? It's a silent weapon. Oh. Yep. Um, on a three plus. Okay, so you're lucky. They didn't even <laughs> hear the it. arrow. No, no. So you are still hidden. And now the pirates run forward. Three of them have wicked cutlasses. Um, one of them has a javelin. And wicked the other cutlass. two. I was trying to do a Boston accent. Is that a Boston accent? Oi! No. Oi! Pack the no, I was going to do uh, oh, uh, wicked cutlass. Wicked cutlass. Wicked. Wicked oh, wicked. Have you seen my wicked cutlass? No, no, that's no. no hang on. Uh, departed. departed. No, no, no. I wasn't doing Boston. Uh, I was doing New Zealand. Like, we absolutely were. W- a wicked cutlass. A wicked Wicked catalyst. Wicked catalyst. Ah, hey, you see my wicked ah, pack ah, cat hat. Ah. How do you like them a apples? Ah, no the fat javelin cat. misses you. <laughs> uh, the, Sorry, Greg. The two short bows. One Shout of out them, to anyone watching is, in Boston. <laughs> this is not great for you, actually. You take seven points of damage for the first one. The second. What? They shot their arrow into the sand at a piece of sand. Um, That's true. They would, they would have had to like arc up and down. They would have to run like this, going like. I, I think. Do you know actually? We know. Hang on. Than you. Hang on. When you are prone. You actually, ranged attacks are at disadvantage. So you're absolutely right. Um, one of them still misses. The other one does hit. So that is still going to be six points of damage. Bunch oh of rules lawyers. You were quite damaged already, weren't you? Yeah, I'm down to... Wait, that was six? Yeah. I'm down to uh, three tasty hit points, David. No, all right. How did you lose so many hit points? Oh, <laughs> explosions, reckless behaviour, the <laughs> usual. Bad life choices. <laughs> you know, drill. <laughs> uh, the, the others with the cutlasses um, run in till they're about ten feet around you and then cautiously start to flank you. And you realise two of them are trying to get behind you, Filge, so that they can attack you from behind and the other one attacks you but with advantage because you're prone um, and does actually hit you as Sorry, well. Sorry, did you just tell David to get fucked? No, no. It's the pirate. Oh Surely it was the pirate. I told the, the pirate, I told the dice to. What did it do to me? It, you were lucky he rolled a one, so that's only three points of damage. Well, looks like that's no. good night for all. No, <laughs> it would be. Great be playing every night. It would be, uh, but you're a barbarian, which means that you have... I have relentless endurance, Dave. When I reduce to zero hit points, I can drop to one hit point instead. Now, I this can. only works once, so... What would kill a normal person will not kill a filch. And so, roaring in pain, you stagger to your feet. And now the next one up... Do I get a go? Now that they're close, you used your go. Let us not forget that you used your go, burying into the sand. Like a little turtle in your own words. So, Dave, I'm going to dual wield. I'm going to use the cutlass and my name sword. Are you a sword. duelist? Yeah, but I don't care this time. <laughs> There's six dudes. i got to kill them all. Okay, so okay. with a gemmed magical cutlass in one hand and the name sword of Sergei uh, von Zarevich in the other. Make two attacks for me with different dice. Two attacks each? Oh, using your bonus attack as well? Well, how many attacks? Because I've got two I've got two did attacks. It, did the camera just see that somebody tried to leave and snuck out crawling? I did say, I did, I did suggest they sneak through because they, they were being very polite. Right. No, but like, Shaq, very polite. Shaq, Shaq had like changed camera view. You know, <laughs> just walked, we were trying to get her attention it, and she was wait, like, ah. Oh, it was very cute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, get, let's do your main. Do I get four attacks or two attacks? No, so you start with two. Oh, no, no, you get plus I got one. Two weapons. So three attacks. Three attacks. So two attacks with the name sword, which okay. um, you just got to beat AC. Uh-oh. Two attacks with the name sword. AC uh, 14. Uh, I make a hit, one hits. Yep. And does eight damage. And the other one is the jeweled cutlass. So did you add plus five to that? Yep. No, I didn't because I'm not a jeweler. It's only plus three. No, no, you only add that. You only add the damage. You only subtract the damage from the second weapon. The main weapon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> two more than. <laughs> <laughs> two more than I said. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you did ten points of damage with the first one. More yeah. cum jokes, please. And, and then, <laughs> get back inside. <laughs> and then I missed the other one. All right, congratulations. You did ten hit points, and you actually gut one of the say yeah. one of the pirates. So four remain, Ooh. and Filge, it's now your go. Um, and may I say, well done reading your rules. Ignore these haters. <laughs> Not haters, just sleepy boys from boredom. <laughs> <laughs> um, Filch goes into a rage because she's so furious that she's these to die. <laughs> nobodies have tried to kill her and yep. she's mad that they somehow found her in the sand, which is absolutely horse shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, Silhouetted by the burning tower, she exploded, but go on. <laughs> um, and she stands up and with a roar, she throws sand in their eyes. You have a cutlass. You have so many weapons. 
But I get don't I get like two rolls so I can do like two moves? Is that how you get two attacks? Yeah, yeah, because you're in a rage. Uh, but remember when we said when you're in a rage, they have mm-hmm. to be basic attacks. So just grappling or hitting, um, punching. hitting them, sand throwing. Oh. Okay, fine. I um I run at them um with my hands outstretched um like fists. So like drop, a like wailing. Punch. So dropping like your wailing. cutlass, dropping your heavy maul, you're gonna punch them. Yep. All right, great. Well done. Two attacks. Hachacha. Hachacha. That's a 19 plus. That'll get. That'll, that'll hit. Things. And that's a 16 two plus hits. other things. Congratulations. Yes. Even with your upgraded strength, it's only D6. So plus, however, it is plus six. Uh, Ten. Ten. Yeah. What did four, you roll there? Four plus six is four ten. Four plus six. Oh, it's plus twelve because they both hit. Oh. Whoa. Mm. That's heaps of plus damage. Plus twelve. That's four. That's sixteen. Sixteen points. All right. You Shit. eviscerate and destroy another cutlass pirate. There's only one left. I, and I hold the heads of his two friends that I punched off and I said, "Try me! <laughs> Try me!" Uh, he. I. Uh, I guess. Uh, he's not. I punched their heads off, right, Dave? Yeah. Yeah. You punched one of. The, you punched one of their heads off. Yeah. And uh, I pull the other one up and it kind of like detaches. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's your call, but I don't think this guy without, like, serious... You still got three, buddy, three buddies. Oh, three. I thought there was, a, there was, there was one, six oh, of them. There's and she's, like, us. wounded, so she's, like, snarling and, like, bloody, and she's, like, backlit. Look, I'd like to do <laughs> some sort of check to see if I'm going to do this, but... Uh. Um, okay, yeah, t- no, I'll tell you what. I will let you do, uh, because you went into rage, I'll let you get a bonus, sort of, this is a bonus action, but you can make an intimidation check. So you've got to beat their... Um, Oppose rolls. Yeah, yeah. Do a willpower saving roll for me. That's. Do I add anything to your my intimidation. intimidation? Yeah, that's how it goes. I got a thirteen. Okay. So you need to get willpower saving. Uh, it's plus one. Damn it. Seventeen. Can you? Yeah, you're still in the fight. For All now. right, men. What? Charisma. No. What does he say? He says, "All right, men," and then he's like, "I thought I had something else to say after that, but I don't." Now, they still haven't spotted you, Simon. And he's the last one? No, there's still three of them. There's the two bowmen and the javelin guy. He doesn't have a weapon. Yeah, right. Um, he just and charged out here. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing on him. And they... Are they are, am I behind them? Are they... Uh, you're still to the side. They haven't spotted any of you. Okay. Um, well, then I'll notch uh, my bow and fire at um, uh, the one that is most injured. Okay, great. So Ooh. make a quick um, attack. Mm-hmm. This will still be a sneak attack. Uh, that's a three. <coughs> okay. It's a little three. Uh, uh, that little that baby is three. Some classic yeah, Bobby Roll. Can I kill three. some more dudes, Dave? Yes, best yeah, on your yeah, next. Please. <laughs> three more attacks. Three more attacks. The white one is the cutlass. Yep. Oh, it jumped. Jumped the shark. Uh, one, one, one. Two cu- hits. How much damage does the cutlass do? Uh, they, it's, the, it's the it's the same as a longsword. D eight, but no d- 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 bonus. D- uh, no bonus damage. Isn't it magical? Oh, plus one. Sorry, plus one damage. Okay, so uh, seven and. Uh, nine. Seven and nine? All right, great. You um, you stab another one and it, with one hand, and the guy that didn't even have a weapon, you sort of slice him as well. Yeah, so is he dead? Are they both dead? No, he's alive. Uh, the other one's dead. I want them to be dead. Um, the two b- bowmen, one of them, the bell is still ringing, and you can see across the waves another eight pirates running, and with them, what seems to be, with the huge blue hat, you recognize the face of Captain Lacassar. They're Uh-oh. still quite far away. They're coming from this far side of the water, but they're racing towards you as the two bowmen start backing off and trying to regroup with them. And they fire arrows at you, Baston. One of them hits no. and does three points of damage. The next up is you, Phil. God damn it. And how many people are left on the beach? There's only two. They're backing off towards the main party, which, as I said, about eight more, including Lakasar. She chases after them. So you're going to run towards, fight these guys more? Yeah. All right. Um, can I do a reckless attack? Yeah, you absolutely can. It means that everyone will have bonuses to attack you after you're finished. Yeah, it seems like a reckless decision. <laughs> All right, go for it. <laughs> um, One hit point. Um, and she runs um, at both of them through the sand and um, she swings her maul back and she um, bonks both of them on the head. Okay, we'll do one attack on each of them very well. Um, armor class 13, advantage on both attacks. So do them one at a time. Uh, okay. Oh, actually, you don't need Wait, to do a reckless. No. You you have rage. You don't need to do a reckless attack. But I, oh, am I still in a rage? Yeah, yeah. Ra- rage That's still goes. It still goes the whole time. He's got a nat 20, dude. You got... That's got to count. That's got to count for something, Dave. Yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's double damage. Um, excellent. All right. So that double so dice and double damage. Are you still using your fists? No, no. She got her maul out oh, now. Okay, congratulations. So and she's like going. 
Bonk! Bonk! <laughs> Whack-a-mole style. So, that's uh, 2d8 for you. 2d8 plus 10. Plus 10 on each? Uh, no, to all up. Uh, that's a, that's a 19. damage in total. Okay, he's, yeah. he's eviscerated. He's bonked right into the sand. And the other <laughs> one... <laughs> <laughs> he gets bonked right into the sand. What's this for? <laughs> Your other attack. Oh, yeah. Your backswing. Uh, what's that? It's a six. Oh, it's, um, it's a six, I think. What, what am I adding? Sorry, six. guys. Uh, That's a miss. You're going to add um, six to it. And a uh, so 10 it's a 12 and a 16. Yeah. 16. Okay, that one hits as well. So that's just eight plus five. <laughs> it's like... Oh, yeah. Guys, uh, if we stay here, we're going to get dead. Um, eight plus one, ni- uh, 19. Eight plus five is 19. Eight plus one plus my 10. No, no 10. Uh, so nine. eight plus five is 13. Plus one. It's nine damage. So you rolled. There's an eight and a one. Dragon friends are so good you rolled at math. <laughs> roll. We're okay. so good at math. I said only roll one d eight because you didn't roll a critical that time. Well, you gave me two. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Think of how much fun we were having earlier. Should I do it again? There's a four. All right, four. Uh, four <laughs> plus five, nine. That's the, all right. That's the injured one. He falls down too. You guys have got a moment's reprieve because the others are still quite far away. How far away are they? About 120 feet away. Is that um, oh, as, would a short bow uh, Dave, help me? You are just within range of a short bow, but if you stay, they'll get they'll be running towards you while you stay. Okay, well I can do it if they start running. I can do an action and then a dash There's and start running, running after them. But I'm just going to take a pot shot at, at the captain. Okay, the lack of, like I saw, excellent. Yeah. Go for it. Um, Give me the eyes. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come here, Leah. Thirteen plus. Seven, that'll hit. Seven. All right, yeah. so you you hit Lakasar, and with a, there's a twang, and your bow connects, and you do. I'll just roll it for you. You do seven points of damage to Lakasar. And you can hear on the wind such disrespect <laughs> <laughs> that this arrow has shown me such disrespect. And he staggers back, and the others, yeah. And I say, well, that voice really carries on the wind. You wouldn't expect it to. <laughs> Okay, um, so quickly, what are you guys going to do? You're going to wait so for them to arrive? We're just going to run away? Are we running away or are we going to fight them? Um, I'm pretty hurt. I'm pretty hurt. Can we? Because uh, the dragon, what's his name? Fushu. Mushu. Fushu. 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 What? What? I forgot. Sorry, I had a it's blank. It's your character that I you know, play. I know, I know. So Bushu came over and told us to not be in the ship you because t- he was going to blow it up, right? That yep. The entire skip. Yes. Can we see the boat? The boat, the situation, or is it too uh, you dark? You can actually. Um, it's still, it's not here. So you'll be able to see it before it arrives. And it's, you're it's happening at dawn. Yeah, right? the robots, yeah. the 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 the, blo- the bomb boat is hitting at dawn when the pirates that's, are convening. That's what Bushu said. Can I taste how far it is till dawn? Like on the wind? <laughs> Str- strangely, yes. Uh, it's still it's about it's two bells until dawn. Oh, that's ages. Let's get the, let's get out. Yeah. What's a bell? It's like an hour. Sorry, like, I assume. Sorry. I assume. Not what is a bell? <laughs> it's like a southern woman who's like so pretty. <laughs> she kind of like flounces around, and she says, "I do declare a lot." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember when Filge was a southern belle for a while? Yeah. What? That's, that's right. Orkish. That's Orkish. what Orkish sounds yeah. like. Orkish. Orkish. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, guys, we're so funny. <laughs> Good. Fil- Filge whispers into her stone, "Where are we going?" Uh, <laughs> our reporter answers. <laughs> Uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. Hello? What? Hello? I've got a bad line. What? Where? We, where's who? Where's who gang? Is your uh, old times refrigerator running by? Prank by? <laughs> yeah, I hate these pranks so much. <laughs> I think we just want to. We want to. We want to run away from the pirate cove. Yeah, you could run further up the shore. Yeah. Uh, you could run b- back towards the treasury gate, so that might end up being a dead end. Can we just pull up a second on buy prank buy? <laughs> <laughs> Bilge is an expert pranker. <laughs> the word is prankster. No one says pranker. She's an expert pranker. <laughs> um, run down the beach, away from the cage. Yes? Yeah, let's, yep. get, yeah, let's yeah, get, get away get to as far as I, I see them, I followed behind okay, them. Okay, so you guys get into a chase. Again, it's low light. Um, so you're trying to imagine not be detected. You guys don't have a torch or anything on you. It's getting dark, so those without dark vision are going to start being a disadvantage. But as a result, all for me quickly makes stealth. Actually, no, who's leading? Uh, me. I'm the natural leader. Okay, you don't have dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get rid of my dark vision? I uh, know you still have dark okay, vision, cool. so yeah. um, you're not. Yeah, let's let one of the people with dark vision lead. Okay, great. So Love why that. don't you lead, Filch? Yeah, I lead. All right, quickly. Make stumbling towards her. Uh, just yeah, make, I'm still fine. Uh, my legs are still longer than yours. Stealth with advantage because of the darkness. Uh, 
Yepi depi do. Plus two. Oh, I can't remember which ones were my dice. <laughs> five and ten. You have five and ten. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're five and ten. All right. So ten plus two is twelve. 12. All right. So that that, that will uh, that will work for easy. So you you guys do manage to lose yourselves in the hubbub. The fire is now raging. That is my favorite Eminem song. <laughs> Lose yourself in the hubbub. The moment you roll it, you better never let it go. <laughs> um, the fire in the watchtower is starting to <laughs> catch on to some of the other buildings and gantries and rope bridges are snapping in the air and Lakasa's men arrive. Rope bridges are snapping. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> 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 they drag the body of Captain Zarum away and some of them start creating a bucket chain to try to combat the fire while you all have a chance to catch your breath uh, Phil, you are so close to passing out, but you're sort of holding yourself together. How is everybody else doing hit point wise? Yeah, great. Uh, I got tons. I got like 30 hit points left. Yeah, I mean, I got 32, baby. 32, some. yeah. Does anybody have Give any healing <laughs> anything? Hey, can I, I use what's left does. of my crop top to make makeshift bandages to bandage up Phil a little? Uh, you can certainly try. Make a medicine you check. You just for got me. a coat. No, but that's got jewels in it. So you're going to yeah. rip you up your You're ripping up your shirt. all her wounds with jewels. DC 12. <laughs> uh, what's my intel? Medicine. No, 11. You destroy your shirt. No, yeah, okay, my shirt. <laughs> my shirt is fine. My coat, on the yeah. other hand. <laughs> so, um, you guys are, for now, just hiding out in a small warehouse that does seem to be full of crates, presumably scavenged from some is ship. still in the cave area? Yeah, you're inside the cave. The cave's quite big. Right, okay. Is it full of... A boat? Oh yeah, what's in the what's in the warehouse? Uh, what are they are storing there? Are yeah. there any red crosses on any of the boxes? <laughs> there, <are> perchance. <laughs> there are, there are crates. Serpents curled around needles with yeah. wings. Democratic on them? Uh, rods, perhaps. <laughs> what about um? What about? Does my jug make honey? Honey's antibacterial. Put that make on. Medicine. Someone. <laughs> oh, make healing potion. <laughs> make okay, medicine. Make medicine. All right, make let's he- try it. Let's try it. Uh, I, w- I want to drink healing potion. Okay, nothing comes out. So it won't magical equip stuff. It won't. It needs to be a mundane liquid. I want. Oh, no. I, I always want to ask for mayonnaise, but I don't think it's appropriate. <laughs> no, it is now. <laughs> what? Oh, what about like alcohol for her wounds? Oh yeah, booze. We clean the wounds. It's not going to heal. Well, I don't really know what the damage is. Like, what is it? It's mostly being chopped up. It's cutting damage. Like cutlasses. Mostly. Yeah. yeah. You want honey? I, th- I think honey's the best liquid. You don't, you don't want. You don't want just. What about rub. vinegar? Is vinegar right? Salt. Honey. Salty oh, water. You're not, making, you're not making her into a marinade. <laughs> <laughs> trying to pickle fill. Just a little don't salt pickle pepper. Filled. Pickle filled. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So is there a back? Uh, back so what about, you got the jug. What are you going to do with the jug? Uh, heal, healing liquid, honey. <laughs> honey very slowly starts to seep out of the jug. It's like, did it work? I don't know. <laughs> I think a really long time. <laughs> Stupid thing. Okay, all the honey you could want, Filch. Just uh, rub it on yourself. Filch rubs it on, and then like, when you turn your back, like sticks out a tongue. It's like <laughs> <laughs> just a smack roll. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, you taste the smeared blood and honey that is all over your body. Oh. Does Ooh. the honey do anything? Um, <laughs> yeah, look, the honey is going to not very do very much. Um, it's certainly stopped you bleeding, and I'm going to say it's that given you, you, a you get three hit points back, so a very, very small amount of healing. Thanks, honey. You I'm are pretty ask- much a miracle worker. You are asking about the crates. But yep. she is like, can we just make it canon for the next little while that she is appallingly sticky? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and also, it's a sandy beach, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh. The... Um, they want a hug. <laughs> so Thank you for the honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my jacket. No, I threw it. All the, gems, all the gems come off. Can they stick to me? <laughs> Certainly <Yay>. some of them. <laughs> Very poorly made jacket. Okay. It was damaged in the fight. Oh, damn. So we're in this giant cave, mm-hmm. and there was a ship that's crashed into and it in the middle. And the with crates. Like, with You're like in a small warehouse inside. Down one end of it. That's down of it. That was built out of like planks that had been scavenged from the main ship. There are crates inside it. Um, there are hammocks sort of um, hanging off sort of sturdy beams that hold the roof up. Although the entire thing is only three walls and a sloping roof. There's no front to it. And there is also down the back of it something that's covered in canvas. Let's go look. 
Okay. All right, so you pull that open and indeed you find a rowing boat that's sitting there. It's a long, low one, a sloop actually. You recognize it like the boat that you used um, sloop, earlier. Sloop doop, sloop doop, <laughs> built <laughs> for speed, <laughs> built for smuggling. Um, I also in the crate. Are the crates open, or I pry one open with yeah. my cutlass? Yeah. Um, okay, you can pry one open with a cutlass. Uh, can you make for me a strength check? Uh, just DC thirteen. Uh, Eleven plus negative one. Uh, okay, you. He does not make it. Um, he sits there, sort of frantically. Am I jumping your, up and down on a sword? With your like cutlass boy-o-ing. working, working, yeah. working at the cutlass, not getting a lot of a lot of traction. While Baston and Freeze Filch, it seems, ignore you. Wait, um, wait, what are you doing in the boat? Trying to open a crate. Oh, okay. I'm gonna open the crate. All right. Because D- I'm buff. DC thirteen. Five. All right. I also fail to do it. All right. So the two, uh, you get advantage because you're, you're helping Bobby. Yeah. Let's assume for now you have time. You open the crate. I should never have made you roll because it would make you fail. So <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, inside okay. the crates, you can see um, this is netting. And inside that netting are melons. You see lots and lots of melons. You realize these crates are full of sort of fruit and food that's been taken from the jungles. And what's this short. netting made out of? Uh, netting. Uh, but is it like rope? Yeah, it's oh, it's yeah, it's made out of like um, sort of yeah, yeah. Cot- cotton. I, I bundle, I, I I ditch the melons and I bundle the netting up. Uh, how big would a net would you say it is? It's probably a fifteen foot by fifteen foot net. All right, yeah, I got a net. Congratulations, you have a net. Okay, so this sloop, are there paddles or oars? Yes, there are four oars. Okay, so Filch, let's 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 make like a boat and. Row away. row away, row away, absolutely. Okay, you guys sneak into the boat, and <laughs> as you can see, again, the pirates... You should have said, rock. Oh, that yeah, that would have been good. That would have uh, been really good. Rock, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, pirates are distressed that. enough that I'm not going to make you guys roll. There's no sentries. They're just putting these fires out, which are now beginning to come under control as you make your way back to the feathered cap. Oh, now, sweet. Frizo, you're on the feathered cap when you... Um, as you see their robot arrive. So the fifth cap is the pride of Candlekeep, right? Yes. Just yes. keep it clear in mind. That is correct. The one okay. that's packed with explosives. And dynamite. Uh, so I see their boat approach, do I? Yeah. I'll, I'll send out some of the cultists to meet them. Mm-hmm. And I'll, um, I'll, 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 I'll let them know. Like, what's a way I can let the cultists, let them know that they're on our side that's now? That's a good question. Uh, I'll have them chant my name as they row. All right. Great. So, <laughs> Freezo. Um, so the, the co- Re- Let's like heave ho. Freezo. Like Freezo. Freezo. So while the sloop Freezo. is arriving, before it can get to the Pride of Candlekeep, you see another boat with a small g- grimy lantern with a single candle, a low light so as not to attract attention from the shore, and three slaves quite emaciated in black robes. They're that cultists. I don't like the word slave. They're cultists. They're cultists now. They're they former they were, slaves. Yeah, no, former we slaves. Freed them. We freed them. Oh, you're fucking Daenerys Targaryen over absolutely. here. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. The mother of dragons. <laughs> um, no, mother s- of slaves. Oh boy. <laughs> Breaker of chains, Frieza. Um, <laughs> they're in black robes that Frieza has found for them to wear, chanting his name. Um, and one of them, as they arrive, the boat comes near you, and one of them stands up and imperiously holds up a hand. Oi, wait there for a moment. Have you heard the good news about Frizo? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot stress enough, you have been gone for two and a half hours. <laughs> uh, uh, he's still alive? Well, he's, he's more than alive. He's light. He's life itself. Have you heard? <laughs> Wait, I think this is a different Frizo, guys. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, what happened? What? What? Well, I hope you're not renouncing the good name of Frizo what happened here. To, what happened to my ship? Oh, your ship's just fine for now. <laughs> Some of His the eyes are very wide and he doesn't blink. <laughs> 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 it's like we could just see eyes in the dark. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, I feel like I think I could sense that some tension is happening, so I'm just going to yell from the boat, Oi, get over here! And they can come. Oh, he speaks <laughs> in the voice of an angel. <laughs> all right, let's go. Yeah, I want to get back on my ship. You guys row up to the feathered cap. Um, with quietly chanting excitedly beside you. (laughs) (laughs) The other boat um, and more um, black cloaked slaves throw down ropes and you are ascended to the presence of the Frizo. Hey guys. While you were gone, I started a cult apparently. (laughs) Again. (laughs) Oh yeah. Um, We leave you alone for two and a half hours. Another cult. Yeah, but this one's better than the last one because... In what way? <laughs> ooh, there's more of them. 
<laughs> There's more of them? Oh, sorry. If I could just uh, answer that for just one moment. <laughs> I don't know a lot about the other cults, but um, this one's a real nice one. I mean, we, we saw somebody just uh, an hour ago kill another man around some tentacles. <laughs> and that was real... R- r- Real confronting. Just, just to be clear. Yeah, those, those were the bad times. Yeah. But the good times are here again. On Mondays, we do bingo. Um, <laughs> is Frizo keeping the um, the whole of Haida open with tentacles just writhing around as no, a no, threat? No, it, no, it's, it's gone. It it's no, gone. But for an hour a right. little part of the hunger of Haida remains in the soul <laughs> the whole of, of each of those cultists. Oh, well, anyway, like, so happy times are here now, you know? Hmm. They are, and you know what happens if you complain. Oh, yeah, and he turns like ashen and just like <laughs> sits back. Um, so I, I explained to these guys, now that we're out, um, now, now, now that you guys are out and safe, what we are gonna, what we should do is uh, at dawn, we'll, we'll say, uh, Captain Feather Drake has... Mr. Feather Drake? Okay, so like we've been... Uh, you've known me for like a while now. It's Drake Feather. I'm so sorry. Um, Drake Feather has, ripped up, uh, has rigged up your ship, Baston, yep. uh, with, with dynamite, and at dawn it will explode... And kill the the pirate meeting. Which um, uh, uh why why would uh, yeah, which look, ship look. would be what what ship will be mine then? Uh, you can have, have this big anymore. one, but the big one can't go any further into the harbor. All right, so we can leave in the big ship. We can leave in the big ship. You just I've got a bigger ship now. Absolutely, you Woo! do. Yes, everybody's. I suppose everybody's happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we we don't have it. We don't have any cannonballs or any ammunition left on this ship on the big ship, I should say. Uh, because we, we we packed the other one full of explosives to destroy my ship. Yes. Um, All right. <laughs> but what? Uh, but once we kill all those pirates, there's probably going to be some tasty loot left behind. So what we should do is um, search their charred corpses come dawn. And all the cultists cheer, charred corpses, charred corpses. Charred corpses, charred corpses, charred corpses. Okay. Not our own. <laughs> <laughs> but there is going to be one more ship coming in at dawn. Yes. That's true. And in fact, can you quickly, uh, all of you for me, make a perception check? Ooh, Ooh, what do I perceive? What am I going to perceive? Oh, so you 20 in it, 20 for old Bobby Pancakes. Seven. Uh, the Bobby pancakes. has a 20, so... Oh, Bobby, you got a 20? Yes, sir. Um, so little prick, the with the prickling of your little um, weird-kissed halfling ears, that's a I'm word sorry, for... Ha- weird-kissed? Like, like, weird, but with a Y. It's not weird. What? I mean... Oh. <laughs> I mean, wired? <laughs> and it's kissed it's like a fantasy kissed? word. Do you mean, like, Peter kissed, Weir? Like, K- like K-I-S-T, like sun-kissed. Oh. oh, like sun kiss. What, like yeah, a weirdo kiss my ears? With your mountain dude ears. <laughs> the point is... Um, Passiona ears. <laughs> you, you get a tingling and you turn around and you can see silhouetted by the moon um, coming through the mist a little earlier than expected the shape of the Emerald Eye, the Uh-oh. third pirate ship, which is already now making its way into the harbour. It will be surprised to discover more ships than it was expecting. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Pretend we ghost ship. Guys, we're Quick pirates. Everyone. We're pirates. We can stick with our story. Mm-hmm. We're here to join the pirate fleet. We're here to talk with the pirate king. We're just chilling. Now, it's already, as it arrives, you can see a bell start ringing and it's, it's making attention. There's been no sound from the shore. They've got bigger things to worry about. And one of the pirates climbs up the rigging of the Emerald Eye and waves a flag, the same black flag of Pali as before. All right, let's uh, bring them on. We've converted some ships before. Let's convert this one too. Uh, they're probably uh. going to recognize this jacket that I've stolen from their friend. I begrudgingly take my sh- like shirt off again and like wave it. You may want to... Hi- let, uh, let's hide the jacket in the captain's quarters. Okay, let's hide the jacket. Okay, we get right So right. Uh, we're going to hide the... Yeah, we're hiding any 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 sort of like regalia that we have that, we, that we've stolen from the other pirates. We're going to hide that in the captain's quarters. Yep. Yeah. And then we are going to parlay with this new pirate ship. Okay. But just to be clear, um, this is... A dead man. It's the ship of Al. It's Al's ship. So we have to say that we're Al's crew. And that Al is on shore. Mm. On the Sturge. So you've got to stay on we're, the Sturge. We're on the Sturge, right? Yeah. 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 Great. Okay. So the ship comes. Wait, are we on the Sturge or we're we're on the Sturge? We're on the Sturge. We're on the Sturge. Good the, question. Feathers, the, 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 yeah. the, the feathered cap the is feathered filled with cap. dynamite. We don't yeah. want to be on that. All right. Okay. So the, the ship comes alongside. Boarding planks are descended. And three pirates come on board. These guys, um, interestingly, are all half orcs. All of the, all three of them, mm. and one of them um, is waiting for someone to come forward. Uh, uh, I, I just for Filge to go. Filge steps forward. She's speaking in orcish. Now this is she's speaking. Oh, yeah. No, well she says in common. Greetings. You speak orcish. 
this is a giant orc that has a beard, which is orc very or half, orc? half orc, which has a beard, which is quite rare, and he has uh, three rings in his ears and then a ring in his nose as well. And then the most distressing. Are they, are they- Linked by a chain? They're not, no. They're, oh. But the most distressing piercing of all is he has what seems to be a, like a raptor or dinosaur claw pierced through the skin here. Really, Ooh. really, really deeply. And then more piercings down his shoulders. He seems to have a, you know, like be kind of a piercing. Is fetishist Is he kind of into piercings right now? He's a body mod guy. Uh, a b- can Field do us uh, a sexiness check? Yeah. Best I, all got to do I it. I don't see why not. Yeah, um, best, best. Make it see career. how sexy you are or how sexy he is? How sexy he is. Oh, well, that's different. Um, <laughs> make a perception Remember check. Remember, you got to do it with Al. Oh, yeah. With you? The... Make a perception check for you me. You just ask. Um, you could ask him. You could ask, ask him it. if he's handsome. Well, no, ask, the ask the other dragon friends. Oh, yeah. Or how hard is Ask Dave if he's handsome. I want to know more about what he's He has a rugged, features. healthy, if you're into that sort of thing, and he obviously really is. Um, if you're like a scene orc. He looks, you know? he's a scene star, yeah. yeah. He's also got like, yeah, a weird haircut yeah. and a, a, like a t shirt for a band you've never heard of. <laughs> What's the name of that band? Um, three Grunts and a Howl. That's cool. Uh, all right. I we think- saw them on tour. They're pretty good. Hey, where Al? Oh! Hey! Uh, this is our ship. We're out. By Al, he of course means Zarum Al Safane. Yeah, me call him Al too. Me a half orc, if you, if you notice. Hello. <laughs> is, is this the first time Phil just met a half orc? Yeah, it is. No, her brother. Her brother. Oh, well, yeah. A new one. Um, and she's like, oh, oh, he, he on shore. He on shore. Mm, okay. What like crew you are? What like kind of what kind of uh, band you into? <laughs> uh, you like the 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 cranky boys? <laughs> you like the cranky boys? Me love the cranky <laughs> boys. <laughs> oh, me saw them in water deep in the tav. You saw cranky boys in water yeah. deep? Yeah. Oh, me would kill, literally kill. To go I, to that gig. I thought this was I thought this was a bluff check, but it turns out apparently this is a persuasion check <laughs> um, because apparently you are a fan of the Cranky Boys. Yeah. 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 Name some of their Th- favorite. That's the best boys songs. with a Z too. Yeah. It's like cranky boys. boys. Yeah. And, so and yeah, you got to name the albums, not the not the singles. Yeah. The actually, oh, if you can name yeah. if you can name your favorite album and what you like about the lead singer, I'll give you advantage on this persuasion check. <laughs> and if you can <laughs> sing the entirety of one of their songs. <laughs> oh, if you can if you can sing the, even just the hook. Of your favorite song. I mean, fuck it. You don't need to Wait, no. His favorite song. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. You know what song me wish I heard in Waterdeep? Oh, yeah. They played it. Oh, really? <laughs> they, they played me so mad I want to punch my own balls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Horgon, Horgon played it acoustic. <gasps> yeah. He played it on, on, a, <laughs> um, on the guts of a rat. <laughs> How it sound? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, the usual. Oh, it was wild. So you just want the dice? You don't want to get the freebie? What? If you sing the hook, you don't yeah, need to roll. I'm going, I'm waiting for Benny. <laughs> I think Benny's waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought he was stalling so Come you didn't on, have Benny, to do you it. Know, oh, yeah, me, you know, I mean, sis, me what? bet you're not a bigger super fan as me. Here's a bet. If you can <laughs> sing the words as good as me, then you can have this ship. If me know the words better I'll than you. <laughs> this is not your ship to give. <laughs> oh, scared, are we? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Now you can have that ship full of Big Bang Bang. <laughs> full of what? Big Bang Bang. <laughs> anyway, anyone going to jump in on that? Uh, that's the name of our band, Big Bang Bang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, we're, we're just, uh, we're new. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that ship's got all that merch on it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have all your merch? Yeah, you have all our merch. But if me know the words better than you, you got to get out of here. We sing together then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. three. Oh, me, me so mad, mad me want to punch, punch my own balls. balls. Me, me so mad, me want to punch my own balls. I already done punching all of yours. Oh, me so mad, me got to punch me own balls. Shredded rat solo. Um, <laughs> all right, you don't need to roll. Congratulations. Um, uh, 
Elok, Captain Elok Jahar Khan, for that is his name, um, he's <laughs> bursts into a huge grin and you see that even his teeth and his sort of orcish protruding tusks are embedded with um, sort of more like piercings the and tusks? metal. <laughs> yeah, he's got little, small tusks. Even, his, even tusks. his teeth have got teeth. Um, and he slaps Filge on the back and you are invited onto his ship. And I You've sp- got to hear this you got to hear this deep cut that I got. It's so good. In what format is it? Is in bird that I taught to remember. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so while he takes while the rest the re- Everyone's got it on wax cylinders now, but I'm a purist. I mean, to burn, I taught. It's an audio file. It's a. a You've got to hear the original bird. And so, Bobby. It's a bird to gig. <laughs> so, Bobby. It's a bootleg bird. I snuck into the Waterdeep Tavern. Bobby, Frizo, and Baston, you have time. Uh, you have some time to kill. And in, in, this is important for you because it stopped his ship from getting to the shore, um, who was, which is where obviously disaster and ruin lie for all of you. And meanwhile, you are invited into his Captain Elok's quarters, Filge, to listen, I suppose, to a bird. <laughs> he snuck into a concert <laughs> to record some orcish <laughs> thrashcore, which plays quietly in the background of this next scene. Could we, like... <laughs> no, no, this, this is those two. So, sweet bird. Oh, yeah, it, it pretty good. Yeah. So, you pirate? You yeah, big time me pirate. <laughs> <laughs> the room is lit with candles. The smoky, sweet smell of incense burns um, along with a pungent odour of sharp Chilton meats <laughs> while the lilting tones of his bootleg bird continue to play. How long did you spend in the conservatory with music, Benny? <laughs> <laughs> Don't interrupt the bird! <laughs> bird! <laughs> uh, I wasn't upset about it until you said that. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm playing along, I'm doing, doing some impro. <laughs> now, talk, talk among yourself. <laughs> you've seen <laughs> <laughs> You've seen a few Captain's Quarters filled. Um, is this he the captain? He is this is Captain Ilok Jahakan, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> captain of the Emerald Eye. Um, and he has um, rare pelts and it seems like even the um, hide of some kind of dinosaur slung over the woodwork and a chest in the far corner and he seems to sleep in a pile of furs next to He's sitting on his chair. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Is he just struggling to get onto the chair? He's doing chair? exactly this. Yeah. <laughs> it's a power squat. <laughs> hey, this whole thing. <laughs> Is this, are we getting a glimpse into the way uh, uh, a young teenage Ben perhaps flirted? Yeah. <laughs> he all. was holding an acoustic guitar. <laughs> You like also, me quarters? Also hanging above those beds is a huge um, axe that has, seems to have a stone cut axe head on it. Cool. Uh, I feel just like, oh, looking at their fur, they make me so sleepy, want to lie down. Oh. <laughs> and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, you want to you wanna see something? Me want to see something. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if we have a camera angle to catch that bit. <laughs> sort of trying to sit as sexy in his chair as he can, but he's sitting far too low. Uh, she's like, come come down to these furs. And he does. And then she's like, me got a snow globe. You want to <laughs> see me snow globe? This just, me this hope this <laughs> euphemism. <laughs> Um, and then she holds and it so in front of and has and he, he ever seen a snow globe before? <laughs> yes. <I> mean, <laughs> nice snow globe. <laughs> <laughs> but he's but he, but he's he's leaning in real close, um, with you in the yeah. low light. Um has he got, like, he's got probably like uh, oh, she hanging grabs. around his neck. Yeah, yeah. Hanging around yeah. his neck is a leather cord of which you can see a key. And as he leans down to look at the snow globe, confused because he was probably expecting Like what in this snow globe? Is it your boobs? <laughs> <laughs> and a key. Like, she's falls. like, look look closer, and then she um 
She's like, can me wear your key? You know how like girls like to put on boys' hats to be cute? <laughs> like, oh, can, can me try your hat on? Or can me try can your glasses? Can me try your key on? <laughs> can me try on your key? If you don't have a better reason for it, this is going to be a hell of a persuasion check. Handsome. <laughs> can me try on your key? Handsome. Make for me a persuasion check. This is going to be charisma based. Um... Because you knew the because you knew the song and because of the sweet lilting tones of the bird, let's not forget. Um, I'm going to say that you have this is ri- <laughs> all you need. Yeah. All you need to do is get an eleven or higher to not to, and to yeah eleven or higher. Uh, that's a three plus ten charisma, so thirteen. That's not how that works. Uh, yes, it is. Why not? What? Really? Do you have plus, plus 10. I've got plus 10 no, charisma. No, you have, we have he, 10 Dave charisma. Dave changed our character sheet. Oh, it's, I see. I've done it backwards. Sorry. It's You have normal... Yeah. I told you that was too much. The yeah. Plus, <laughs> the plus no. is at the bottom. It's zero. Plus zero. Okay. So, so the moment isn't broken, but he decides no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, many women... Uh, yeah, entranced, okay. What? Entranced by Mickey, but uh, Mickey is around me neck. All right. Let's just have sex. <laughs> <laughs> hey and Dave, how does that work? No, well, Jay, and right, in the end, got the a D twenty. <laughs> <laughs> and no, right, you just need a one D. And let us, I suppose, draw a curtain over this scene. <laughs> 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 does the bird have to watch? <laughs> 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 oh, bird, you know, listen to this. <laughs> Is the bird going to remember this? No, no, you know what he well? does. Do you know what he does? Is he claps because he's gross. He claps his hands twice, and the bird starts playing like some kind of whatever the orcish equivalent of Barry White is. <laughs> oh, um, it's Gary Stab. <laughs> well, it starts playing some deep Gary Stab, um, and um, oh, if that's not enough to go. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, Baby. <laughs> Meanwhile, outside, um, you are all. The orcs are there, and. What do you reckon's going on in there, guys? I don't know, but there's a sign on this saying, if this cabin's a rockin', don't come a knockin'. <laughs> and the orcs are actually loading up the sturge, the tithe that they owe Captain Lacassar. So they're pulling um, what seems to be chests and sacks onto his ship, uh, which seems to be normal practice. Mm. You guys had a good uh, plunder season? Yeah. So far, so good, I guess. Yeah? You know, you seem a bit down there, fella. Yeah. No, it's okay, I guess. What's going on? What? Nothing. No? You don't want to talk to old Frizo? I don't know who you are. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. I'm just like sort of sort of doing my own thing. Yeah? And, just yeah. seems... Uh, you're being oh, really look, like... You're being really forward. It's a sailor <laughs> with personal boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dave, can I go below to the cannon deck? Yeah, no one's really paying attention. They trust you. Okay, so is there... How low is the cannon deck? Like, could I conceivably, like, load a cannon and point it at the waterline to blow up so that the, the... the orc ship sinks? Yeah, yeah the Sturge is actually the only ship that has cannons. All the other ships only have little aquabuses at the front. <laughs> so <laughs> but we've loaded all the gunpowder onto yeah. the what? Drake Feather. <laughs> this is yeah. Tr- is, yeah. Is there no is there no cannonballs? Just like maybe a spare There's one. There's cannonballs, but you would have to go get black powder. There's no powder. Damn you have it. to throw it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you yeah, you but you are aiming. They are because because they're tethered. Sh- on the right side, they are yeah. aiming right at the side of the orc ship. Because there's still a connection between the ships and stuff. Could but you conceivably go on to... Aren't we on... Where, where yeah, you've been invited on, but yeah. he can go back to the unship. Right. All right. Where is the, where is the, 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 flight, the feather now? Where's Drake for the ship? So the feathered cap is tethered to one side of the sturge, yep. and on the other side of the sturge, oh, with boarding planks connecting okay. the two, yep, is yep, yep, the yep. emerald okay. eye. So we're three ships in a row. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You're not quite like a raft, but yes. you're... Yeah. I'm just okay. going to draw it for yep. you. I'm so going to go get some gunpowder. All right, so you you head off to go get some gunpowder? Yeah. All right, um, are you trying not to be spotted? Yeah, I'm going to be heaps inconspicuous. Quickly make a stealth check for me. With you can hand. make it based on charisma if you want, because um, I imagine you're talking away. Just do it. some winks. Yeah, meaningful winks. And beat me... 19. 50. All right, great. So you make your way on and you get some black powder and you start loading a cannon. Uh, Bobby, what are you doing while this is happening? <laughs> um... I am 
just uh, so I'm gonna f- I'm gonna follow where they come getting the treasure from on their ship, and just sort of sneak in there mm-hmm. into their like treasure room. Yeah, great. So on the ship. Yeah. So yeah, you can there you can walk in. That's fine. And they're laying out chests and sacks. And there is one pirate who's sitting there opening the sacks, cutting the gold into three pieces and loading them into chests. And is there anything like super cool in there that I can see? That's like out. They have this like a pile of like treasure that's kind of this is mostly gold papers and goblets yeah right uh, and there's just one guy in there and people occasionally coming in and out yeah um okay with my um mage hand ledger man um what's the most sort of expensive thing that i can see there's a there's a gold, like a goblet that would probably be worth about 200 something that gold. i could something that i could haven't that i could secrete away very easily so yeah there's like jewels goblets fine jewelry you could you, there's like a necklace with gems on it okay i get that necklace with the gems is it uh, like the uh one from titanic yeah sure make a stealth check for me that's an eight an eight plus your sorry this is uh sleight of hand so uh and sleight of hand is what is that dexterity no dex dex plus skill uh, stealth no, sleight of hand, plus four. All right, um, so that was 12? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so as you do it, it makes a rustle and the guard <gasps> notices. And the, the guy that's counting, he looks up at you. And then he goes back to his counting. <laughs> no, 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 he's, no, he's, so he's, he's, he's <laughs> I was like, he looks, at, he looks at you and he looks surprised. Huh? Oh, hey. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> what uh, is the bluff? <laughs> what, uh, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing? Oh, we were just invited on the ship by the captain. Um, you know, yeah. I'm just curious to see, uh, you know, we're talking to the guy out there. He said had a pretty good plunder season. Sure. Like. Yeah, no, we did. It, it was good. I'm, I'm counting it out and doing the tithe. Um, so, I mean, you really shouldn't uh, be here at all. What's oh, that? I thought it was cool because I just walked in here. And yeah, I mean, why would you... I'm just a curious dude. <laughs> you really need to go. Okay, but let me ask you one question. Sure. Are you a slave? Excuse me? Are you a slave? It's an enormously insulting question. Is it? <laughs> yeah. More insulting than being a slave? Okay, look, I think we're done here, to be honest. I think we've got boundaries, and I've got personal space, and I've got things that I'd like to talk about, including my income and how that works. And, uh, and I just grab a handful of jewels and I run. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right, quickly make for me just dexterity, see how much you grab. Um, uh, that's so tell six. me what you get. I'll base it off that. You got a six plus your dexterity is ten, so you grab a small amount of gold and you run him shouting to follow you. Meanwhile, let's cut back to inside the quarters where as the... Parrot slowly fades away. I suppose you're both lying on the... Yeah, I reckon he's probably um, asleep. <laughs> <laughs> he's feeling very relaxed. Um, yeah, so you're both lying down. <laughs> he's, asli- yeah, he's asleep? His eyes are closed. Um, <laughs> feel, is, there any, is there any rope? Um, there is, as I said, the axe hanging above the, the crates. There's the chest in the back of the room. There are... Um, yeah, I suppose there's probably netting and things like that. Cool. Um, and the and there's just the furs and sort of blankets that you guys are in. Yeah. Okay. Um, Filge like covers herself with furs. Very nice. Uh, it's very tasteful. Yep. There's like one one. This shoulder. whole scene is very tasteful. <laughs> very tastefully shot when this becomes a film. Yeah. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very tastefully it's shot. Like just it's not gratuitous. It's just, it's just a slow zoom on the birds' horrifying. <laughs> <face>. <laughs> That's a win. Uh, do, yeah. Do half orcs do it the way humans do it? No. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't look so self-conscious about it. They do yeah. it with pride. They do it. Yeah. <laughs> They're good. Um, Filge uh, gets gra- sneaks gets out of his grasp. Yep. Um, and grabs some netting and hmm. Oh, she grabs no, she grabs the axe. And she bonks him on the head. Fuck. But not... With what bit of the with axe? With a stone axe, didn't you say? Yeah, very sharp on one so end. So just the flat of it. <laughs> okay. You so slap him with an axe. You're just going to crush his skull. <laughs> no, just going to bonk He's him gently. He's an orc as well. So, uh, to, so to wake just, him up? No, to make him I, fall I heard that you didn't bonk him gently. He, he, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is yeah. asleep. Yeah. No, to make Gross. him pass out. 
<laughs> he is passed out. He's already asleep. He's asleep. He's just, not that's unconscious. not the same as passed out. Oh. Why are you all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, do no harm. No, I'm Bloody just saying, if you're going to do a heavy axe, axe execute him. It's a heavy axe. It's, it's hooked. It'll take, it could make some noise. That's the only risk. Oh, okay. So can I pick it up without making noise? Taking it off the wall might make noise. Got to make a check. All right. Make an axe check. I take it off. I take it off the wall. All right, make a dexterity check for me, and you've just got to be DC 12. Uh, 14. 14, okay. You pick it up, and he starts and snores adorably, and you are now holding an axe, and as you do, your muscles ripple, and you realize this, there's some kind of magic in this axe. <gasps> no! Magic axe. Magic Probably axe. could kill him. Do I know what it does? WWFD. A little, a little Frizo with devil horns appears on your shoulder. <laughs> Cut his head off, man! And then little Bushu appears on the other shoulder and says, Yeah, do it, whatever, what do I care? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Filge doesn't know what to do. And Filge doesn't know what to do. A oh moment God, of decision where she has to make she, a like decision. She, she pulls up a... Th- because... Here she stands in the captain's quarters with perhaps the first person to ever truly understand her. A man whose fearsomeness belies a tenderness that she saw tonight. Perhaps a keeper, perhaps one even to take home to mum if only mum didn't eat dad. But instead, she lies. She, a key is around his neck and an axe is in her hands. And this can only end, it seems, one tragic way, one inevitable way. For if the treasuries of Jahaka Anchorage are to be opened, and if the loot that was once rightfully some poor merchants is to be unrightfully the dragon friends, then perhaps an orc captain has to lose his head. I mean, what are you going to do? It's not that hard to find someone with good taste in music. Anyway, perhaps even on the next episode of Dragon Friends. Thank you. Yay! What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You have, you have a short do? break to decide what you're going to do. I'm so torn. I know. And oh. you're going to have to make a decision. Because I was like, ah, oh, I'll, I'll kill him. I'll, oh, do I want to? Oh, he's so cute. And you have to make a decision in one, one two, two, three. three. Oh! Oh! Welcome back to Dragon Friends. Oh, that was crazy. No time has passed. You have to make a decision. But um, before you do, I wanted to say one thing. When you grabbed that axe... Um, two things happened. Firstly, the whole room seemed to vertigo effect in and you got the sense, as I said, your muscles rippled and you felt a energy quickening in your veins and you felt more wide awake and single-minded than you have in a long time. That's also how she feels when she has sex. And but Dave, al- <laughs> go on. <laughs> also, um, you feel your blood begins to pump and in fact, go ahead and take uh, this many hit points worth of um, damage back because your wounds begin to start closing. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. You sort of, this this axe is giving you a kind of regenerative power. <laughs> one, power. Dave! One hit point back. Congratulations. Oh, boy. It's not a great axe. Yeah. How much? <laughs> so that might literally be the hit points you get back from having Did sex. Get it? Oh, right. Oh, you know, yeah, is, that's a short rest, isn't it? How do you have sex? Is it a short rest? <laughs> no, it's extremely vigorous. Then, no then lose nine hit one points. Point. <laughs> oh, you're dead. <laughs> Okay. Where'd go? <laughs> so, to paint this scene, um, the captain... Fucking an emo. The, to paint this scene, the captain, Elok J- um, Jahakwan, I think. Jahakan. I, I never... Jahakan. Um, Jamiroquai. Yeah. <laughs> Menace, Menace of the South Seas, half-orc. Tri- um, He's got a cool hat. Tribe Lord of the Great Blue Waste lies at your feet. Um, Is that what they call the ocean? Yeah, that's... That's the, so cute. Yeah, yeah that's, like, that's... I just, just came up with that that's there. That's real good, oh, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Nice to be appreciated. Um, the <laughs> it never happens. Um, the he lies at your feet, snuggling, uh, snuggle up in the rugs. You stand over his head, holding this potent artifact, smeared in blood, in honey, in gemstones, and with a sticky rug uh, covered in you. I suppose he is also at this point covered in blood and gemstones and honey. A little bit. <laughs> you know how orcs do it. Half orcs, is that how they do it? Oh, no. Before... Yeah, like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Baston poured on me to heal my wounds. No, no, yeah. No, I know that. You were on the ship, so maybe you didn't hear. <laughs> no, but I meant, like, uh, sh- shouldn't he have commented on that when you guys were fucking? No, he didn't. He was if anything into it. Yeah, it's very, it is very common. It, it's what they yeah. use. It was a heady combination, and, right. yeah, he, he was buying what she was selling. Uh-huh. And, Filge, I think that this is... Um, as I suppose John McCain would say, a decision point. <laughs> is John McCain some sort of like uh, wizard or something? Yeah, in this world, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. John McCain. 
John McCain. John McCain. John McCain. John McCain. John McCain. So Field still has the axe over her, the quivering in axe two over hands. her head. In two hands, yes. Two hands, but I've got to hold the microphone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she looks down and she looks at his beautiful, serene, sleeping face. <laughs> this beautiful, serene <laughs> piercings. <laughs> and she <sighs> takes a deep breath. And then she swings it back and brings it down on his neck. Fuck. But to cut the keychain off his neck. <laughs> That's going to require some dexterity, oh, I think. That is absolutely going to... That is ah. a beautiful, noble gesture to that try and spare his life. I've ever heard. Ah. However, that is going to take a substantial amount of dexterity. <laughs> and I'm Ooh. not going to pull punches on this one because I've already done that a bit this adventure. Uh, take a bet. So I gain advantage on dexterity saving... Th- is that a saving throw? You do no. gain no he is prone he's helpless that gives you advantage for what you're trying to do so you need to roll oh boy. one of these two dice you have plus 3 to plus 2 dexterity one of these two dice has to be 13 um no sorry has to be lucky 13 has to be 13 yeah. or higher but if both of them miss but miss one of them misses by less than 5 you hit his neck one of the wait I'll just roll it and you tell me if I got it. If a man walking from Seattle <laughs> at 200 miles an hour <laughs> races a train. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. That actually, like, it's a it's a sweet spot, right? So mm. if she gets a 20, his head's fucking gone, right? <laughs> oh, I, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, so there should be a range that, that, that Lieber has to hit into. No, so no, like, like, no but like it's... it's, it's my tr- uh, it's how well she does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. so it, is, it, is a, it is a range. Just do it on purpose. If okay. she misses by a like lot, <laughs> not a problem. Okay. If she does what she wants, not a problem. If she misses by a little bit, oh, that's a problem. Oh, I You've see. got a problem there. Okay, okay. So, okay. so what numbers am I aiming for? You want to hit you you definitely you want to get more than thirteen, but you definitely want to get more than thirteen or less than seven. Ooh. On both on on, on one any of the one dice. of these dice. Well, actually, no, so it's tricky if you miss. So just first of all, roll see, the, roll the just dice. Just do one. Ro- no, roll them both. No, roll them both. Roll Seven both to twelve. Dice you fuck roll it one up. Seven to twelve. Fuck it up. I reckon roll one at a time. So first one. That's an eleven. <laughs> That's a fuck up. That's a bad <laughs> one. Now, <laughs> what that means? <laughs> That's the bad thing. What that means is He's now it's a binary. Key. There are two options. Oh jeez. You are either going to get the key or you are going to cut his head off. And it's going to come and down get the key. to yeah, look. Either way, you get the key at this. Is point. there one where I miss completely? Not anymore. There was. But now you've got an eleven. That's the oh fuck, man! You're gonna kill it, dude. Uh, you just fuck. Game over, man. The mantis. <laughs> <laughs> Playing mantis. Well, you, have you guys now like stuck your heads in the door <laughs> and you're yelling this? <laughs> Here we go. The mantis. A black window. <laughs> Are you ready? Thirteen or higher. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh! <laughs> Was that a 20? That's a 13! 13. 13. <laughs> a 13! All right. You just make it the... You actually cut one of the piercings built into his neck. Um, you give him a little bit of a shave, but thonk, and the thong connecting the key is... Thong? Yeah, like a leather like thong. Like a leather thong. Oh. Not a G-string. Me. Okay. What were you thinking of? Oh, G-string. On right. his head. Um, is released and he snores. Uh, actually, does he? Uh, yeah, eight. He snores like a baby. And the, me, 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 the key me, me, is now just there, slightly covered in his drool. Um, I sna- and let's face it, a bit of honey and a bit of blood. All right, I snatch up the key. Yep. Don't forget the um, cum. Sorry. <laughs> was that the, was that the bird? The bird? <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> sorry, the bird was Benny's carry. I should not have stepped in. <laughs> Benny, what does the bird say? I'm not saying that. Yeah. <laughs> Benny has standards. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. Can I? Um, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna dip my finger into my blood and honey mixture, yeah. and I'm gonna write uh, no, there's, him there's a letter. Windows, so you can write on the window. I write on the window. Uh, Filch. <laughs> Just Phil. <laughs> because you haven't exchanged names she had, yet? And she had so many more things to say. <laughs> Is and that the kiss. only word you can spell? Yeah, that's that's a letter. That, so yeah. she writes a field and with a kiss hug. And then... Uh, can Actually, I s- you're a barbarian. Yeah, you are functionally illiterate. So that is all you can do. Yeah, so that's like... That's a really heartfelt letter from yeah. Phil. Is it at a frowny face? No, it's a kiss hug. Kiss hug. XO. Uh, yeah, XO. Right. And then... Um, at a different angle, XO looks like a pirate flag, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, can I snoop else around his room? Yep, you that you can, but Elsewhere? I'm going to make you make more dexterity checks. That's all. Should I? Yeah, I want to see what's in that uh, box. Okay, so sneak over there. Make for me <gasps> a, a sneak, sneak, sneak. I just at eleven. He's fast asleep. With dexterity? Um, yeah. Uh, that's uh, yeah, sixteen. Okay, sixteen. So you manage to open up the chest and you see a suit, um, a, actually a breastplate of banded mail, um, and you see also what looks like a set of fine pirating clothes. Um, of the type that he's wearing, and as well, you see a small leather roll. Like uh, something that's wrapped up in leather. I'll throw it in the ocean. Nah, just joking, Dave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Set the room on fire. Um, I, I, I pick up the leather roll. Yep, okay, great. Um, you actually, it sort of opens and glints, and you realize it's a set of fine lockpicks. Oh, la la. Ooh. Uh, I put that in my pocket and then I take... Uh, so I you take are wrapped in, an, in a honeyed... I stick it on my skin then. Okay. What's the difference? <laughs> All right. You stick the leather pouch on, your, on a, on a st- sticky part. Yep. Um, I pick up the mail and the... I've got... Uh, yeah, and the clothes. Yep. And the axe. Um, y- your clothes. No, no. Uh, no, I've already dressed myself in furs. The, pi- the pirate clothes... You're happy clothes to just stay in the blanket. In, in his wardrobe. In the sticky blanket. Yeah. Um, and then I sneak out the door. All right, congratulations. So you sneak Walk out the door. Shame. He's going to be so sad. <laughs> Wrapped in a sticky blanket with a banded breastplate in one and my hand. Axe. I kept the axe. A- and an axe, I suppose, under your thumb. And Oh, no, because you've, you've stuck everything else onto you. So mm. all you're holding is an axe in one hand. You and just the get the axe and just go like, what? On the back of the <laughs> Yeah, there. it's actually very handy. Uh, the breastplate. I'm going to get more honey. <laughs> The breastplate in the other hand, and you sneak out onto the deck of the ship. Now, the rest of you are there enjoying some time with the pirates who seem to be chilling out. Mm -hmm. When Bobby, quickly make a perception check for me. You're keeping an eye out, so again, it's just 12 for you. Uh, That's a... What was that? Was that 12? It was the blurry side. Yep, 12. 12, 12. okay. Uh, You spot, just before any of the other pirates notice, Filge emerging, carrying a lot of what looks like contraband. Just to be clear, I got away with yeah, running out of that room. Running with out like of a room oh, full of treasury. <laughs> I got like ten gold, didn't you say? Yeah. Do you know what? Um, that's that's on me. So you stole. You rolled so badly. Yeah. You got like ten gold. So it was actually not worth the pirate. The guy was like, "Could you just, uh, <laughs> you know, can, can so, you know, yes, whatever. <laughs> All right. Who's next? And then he just. So for now, <laughs> for at least now, you're okay. I don't know if you'll be in trouble if you see him again. Um, Filge calls them all over. The She's just going to call out? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh. Is, is my cannon packed? What, is that? what emotion is that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Filge, um, Filge walks up to Bobby and goes, Hey. Hey. Want a fuck present? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. In orcish culture, if an orc ha- makes love... I know me just said fuck earlier, but me a lady. <laughs> I know what a fuck present is. Hand it over. <laughs> also, nice. <laughs> Sticks and your hands stick together. <laughs> <laughs> She's really boasting. Yeah, she yeah. is. Oh, yeah. Um, and then she unsticks the leather roll and gives it to Bobby. And I unroll it. I'm like, nice. Okay. Where are the others? we got to give them their fuck present. Those, by the way, are, are plus two thieves tools. <laughs> so that's for... T- Test, sleight of hand test to use thieves tools. It's it's an extra plus two. Who won a fuck present? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I think fuck presents, at least for Filge, is now canon. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. She fi- like, even if no other orcish. Orc- orc- it's not an orcish tradition. It's a Filge tradition. No, it's a... Now Filge thinks of it was just her family. <laughs> <laughs> just awful. Like one of those things you Dad always Dad comes thought. home and he's like, who wants a fuck present? But now the rest of us are going to be like super good wingmen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm like really rooting for us. All right. Um, now <laughs> you guys are sorry, very... Uh, sorry, I said fuck so many times, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Hashtag sorry, Greg. Greg um, <laughs> so the... Y- right. You guys are making a bit of commotion on the, um, on the deck and <laughs> a pirate... <laughs> Another pirate wanders over with a kind of jovial expression, actually. Oh, what's going on here, then? Ah, we just giving out some presents to me friends. Oh, presents to me friends. Sorry, well, speaking of presents. Yay! Hey. 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 That's Benny. <laughs> Thank you. Who's, is that one for you, Benny? Uh, nice. Where did this show in a pub? <laughs> uh, this pub does ice cream sundaes. Delicious ice cream sundaes. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think 
<laughs> yeah, let's let's get a couple more spoons. Make it easy. Ladies and gentlemen, Seamus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Seamus. He's famous. Now the um the half orc covered in honey was giving out fuck presents. Mm. <laughs> Wait, Dave, is my Are you to me friends? Is my cannon bloated and ready? Uh yes, your cannon is bloated. Okay, and ready. well I'm gonna come up above just like pretending like I didn't just load a cannon aimed at the orc what ship. Is, what does that look like? Just like. What's everybody else doing? <laughs> I didn't just take a nap. I am a good worker, pirate. La 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 la. Hi, Filch. Hi, Baston. <laughs> Baston's never see sings. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So what's what's going on over here? Yeah. What's uh? Oh, me doing fuck presents. You're doing fuck presents. Yeah. Oh. You want a cutlass? What's that thing? Oh, uh, it's just an orc thing. Who'd you fuck then? <laughs> oh, uh, never you mind. Oh, he you want a fuck present mind. or not? Anyway, I should probably go uh, talk to the captain, you know, how, how that goes. We've got to uh, head into the anchorage now. Mm. You know. Does he want a fuck present? Well, I'd like a fuck present. If, it's, if you're giving them out, you know. Well, fuck presents from me friends only. Oh, okay, Ooh. well, that's, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh. No, so you, you want to be my friend? I mean, I mean, for the purposes of fuck me. No, you know what? This has gotten awkward, so... Uh, <laughs> awkward? <laughs> awkward. Oh. Oh. Kill it, kill it, kill it! <laughs> uh, should we kill it? No, there's heaps of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, you have this cutlass, and just remember who gave it to you. I me, Filch, hey. Oh, Filch, okay. Jeez. I'm going to go check on the captain. Oh! And, and, he, and he starts to walk towards the cabin away from Friends you play dice together. We're going to play dice, you and me. <laughs> Friends. I, you're still in the storage. You've got a bit of time, but he's heading that way. <coughs> what should we do? We should untie our ship from the, his ship because right. I'm going to sink his ship. What? Wait, uh, what? 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 Did you just say that in front of him? No. No, no, no he's already left. He's All left. All right. Bye. Oh, right. I forgot to get his name. <laughs> Your new friend? Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, so, okay, so you guys have... Uh, you, so you're, you're by yourselves at the moment. The other pirates are all around you, and you, it looks like the ruse may be up pretty soon. Oh boy! So uh, what's the what's this plan? So look, because we're about to like sh- sail the feathered cap. We're gonna blow it up and sail that into that. Ship. No, I'm asking in character. All right. Um, I figure if we're gonna make an escape, we should sink all of the ships that aren't our ship. That's a solid idea. Mm. Yep. So all the ships are actually tied to each other at the moment. Cool, I forget. Cool. Right. All right. So uh, we, we convene a dragon huddle. The cultists uh, are, are all on board. Everyone's on the main ship, the Dirge, the Sturgeon. Okay. This is going to have to be very quick because yep. as when last you left, a guy was walking yep. towards the. So cabin. we're gonna we're gonna. Uh, all right. Drake Feather. Uh, yes. uh, aim the ship and set it off, and uh, it'll blow at dawn. Now? Yes. Do it. All right, men. Untie. Hoist the. And yes, well, whatever. <laughs> he's just, he's lost all the fight. He's broken. He's oh, broken. Everybody, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to you, Phil. I'm sorry to you, Karen. <laughs> I'm sorry to you, Tim. I've let all of you down. And look, not just the names I mentioned, those are the ones I can see. There's many of you below What death. about me? So if you untie the ship... <laughs> yes, Stephen, I can hear you. Okay. Just, just explain this to me, because the ship is tied... To the sturge, which is yep. tied to the emerald. So eye. we are, yeah. So we are cutting the lines between the sturge and the drake feather. Oh, sorry, and the and the and yeah, the, 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 the big cap. feather, the feathered cap, uh, and that, the, and, we, and we are launching the feathered cap towards the bay, so that it just drifts towards the bay. Yeah. Now, and, and, and drake feather uh, said he could set it up so it would uh, hit the. He would time it so it hits at dawn. Yeah. Uh, so he said he would do. He said that a couple of no, days ago. Yeah. So do you want it to hit at dawn? When the pirates are all meeting in the cove, that's what we wanted to hit. Okay, are the pirates going to meet in the cove? Because one of them has just been robbed by... Are you guys going to just wait on the ship for a few hours now? No, no. So then, <laughs> as this... Explain sh- your plan I'm to in, me. I'm in the middle of No, no, no. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to launch that first ship, right? Very slowly, yeah. Very, very slowly. As that ship is launching, we're going to untie our ship from the third ship, and then Baston is going to fire a cannon into the third ship. Ice cream. And we're going to sail sinker. away. Then we're going to sail away okay. uh, to a safe distance, watch everything burn and blow, and then we're going to go in and loot the, the charred corpses. Oh, um, are, we blow, still, are we still in the dragon huddle? Yes. Um, I show them the key. I'm like, looky, looky. All right, so we've got two one. keys, and I've got the well, other two key. keys. All right, we need three keys. And I've got um, an amazing plus two uh, thief tools. Oh, so, uh, maybe we don't need a key. All right. Maybe. So... Un- un- untie it, Drake Villa, launch the ship, and then let's uh, 
Let's sink this motherfucker. And he puts his hand up and he goes, sorry. And he launches the ship. Okay, so the ship starts to drift away. Uh, it's it's still in the low pre-dawn light. There's You've got some time to act before anyone will notice. But in about an hour, there is now a timer on this. Because in an hour's time, as it, when it hits the sort of rocks, mm-hmm. it will tear open. And that will create his, cause his booby traps to go off. Yep. And the ship will explode. So it's not just a... Um a time like a no, it's impact. A, 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 it's no, he's just yeah. ri- he's rigged it. A fuse? It's, a, it's not a wick. There are wicks and fuses, but okay. it's it's just it's just it's a it's a Rick floating bomb. It isn't my first time I've destroyed a ship I love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was the first time? <laughs> Did you say this was the first time? Was was it wasn't. <laughs> um, oh, Papa, <laughs> thank you for giving me the skiff. <laughs> well. This is a very big responsibility. Oh, I'll take such good care of it, Papa. Look how nice it is, and red and blue at the back. I'll sell this all my days. And then he goes, oh, no! <laughs> and he shits himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> is that a useful skill in this situation? How did shitting, shitting yourself itself? ruin the boat? <laughs> because it was well, on the boat. Well, how didn't it ruin the boat? <laughs> it was on the boat. <laughs> It's the smallest and scale. And poo and everywhere. All right, all right. Um, oh, the red bit. So, as I said, you have about an hour uh, now before dawn and the this huge fireball. All right, and we have uh, we have now uh, separated ourselves from the third ship and we are sailing away. But you're now going to have to make a stealth check for me and Freezer, since you're leading this little operation, you make it for me. DC 13. I rolled a one. I opened up my eyes. I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get a dice of inspiration for that song, Dave? Yeah! <laughs> I rolled a one! <laughs> Alright, um, the... So, as, as you snap the last of the moorings clear, oh, no. the f- four of you spin around, and standing in the door are two orcs. One of them that you recognise as the one that had gone to check on the captain. Oh, yeah. And both of but them... But that orc... Talks like carrying not, not in orcish, does he? No, no. <laughs> it's surprising. The other one talks really in orcish. Are we free? Are we? Are our moorings? Are we cut loose? Yeah, we've from cut loose, ship? but we've woken up two of the. Orcs. No, no, they're, they're still on the sturge with you. Remember, they were loading the sturge yeah, with gold. We, so the boat right. is free, but there's two left on so our ship. So to your backs is yeah. the ship floating away, which they haven't noticed because mm-hmm. it's moving very slowly. But they have noticed that you guys are doing up to no good. Hey, I'm gonna go down. S- uh oh, hey, hey, and his buddy is really orcish. What's there? There's two of them, is there? Yeah. I believe there's a way we solve two problems. I... I hate it when you look at your sheet. <laughs> no, I just... Th- we've already many, done this. How, we, many, we, I, how I, many level three spell slots do you have? I've rested since then, surely. <laughs> no, you haven't. No, you are up all night forming a cult. Oh, that's true. No, I've got two. I've got two. <laughs> I've got two, Dave, right. you idiot. Ha ha ha! I gather the cult is surround and we make a death circle like cast out. Oh, hang on, hang on. Explain this to me. So they're at the doorway. Yeah. And this just the like four... a disproportionate response. Just the four of you are in the room. You're called to start with you right now. You've cut We're the on rope. Deck. On deck? No, no, you're in, a, you're in the lower deck, which is where the lash, where the, the ships are actually lashed together. All right. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Oh, hey, what, what, what are you guys still doing here? Your ship's already left. He's, having, none, he's, he's having none of this. Yeah, I just uh, think there's something up here. And uh, so does Michael. Um... Michael? Oh, yeah. Very suspicious. No, he was, uh, Dave described him as being very orcish. I did. It means he's, he speaks like a southern bell. <laughs> I do declare. No, but we can't no, understand. No, no, I, Only oh, I could yeah, understand. Right. He's yeah, speaking right. common, but... Just but now he's speaking yeah. common. Uh, oh, well, I say, I say, I say, I say. Uh, there's something mighty suspicious happening around here. <laughs> uh, well, that and Phil's going, he's saying something mighty suspicious <laughs> happening around here. He's so orcish here. that you can't understand. He doesn't speak yeah. common. Yeah. Right, okay. yeah. Um, I guess we got to kill him then. No, no, we don't. Um, I mean, you, what? Who? Well, <laughs> me, uh, it, it, me friend. You have colours from me, yes? Well, I suppose I do, yeah. It's, qu- it's quite nice, actually. Oh, so? I'm, I'm, um, I've also had sex. Who would like a fuck present from me? Free oh, so. Michael, you got to hear about these fuck presents. You want a fuck present? Oh, well, I do declare I do like a fuck present as much as any man. As much as I like sweet tea in the morning, I love a fuck present. He say yes, please. All right, I hand him a pickaxe that I have. Um, the quality of the axe is go- uh, the quality of the fuck present is going to directly affect the DC of this check. All right. Then so if you give him a mundane pickaxe. Oh boy, that's all I got. I got that or a black cloak. Oh yeah, 
Um, well, uh, sorry, you have asked me to hold this for you um, in the event that you got laid, and since you got lucky, I guess this is the uh, fuck present that you want to give away. Uh, yes. And I pull out um, the poison dagger, and I walk up to the orc um, uh, to offer it to him. To Michael? To Michael. And uh, what does Michael do? Well, I say, I say, I say, I say. I guess he extends his hand to take it. Um, I pretend to trip, and as I fall forward, <gasps> I stab him in the leg. Oh. All right, so you're going to go into combat? I, I guess it's an accident. Yeah, it's it an, is accident. an accident. It's a yeah. roll. It's 100% not don't an accident. Don't be chill about You've it. You've stabbed him. All right, if you're going to attack him, then make an attack roll. All right. This is a sneak attack. Uh, that is a... But the boat is drifting seven. away from... It is, and there's water behind you guys, so if you, things get... You can dive off the side if things get too bad. This is, these are sort of open sides. But we're in, uh, we're in the one ship that's going to be left not sinking. Yes. Well, at the right. moment, the other both of them are going to be left not sinking. Okay. Uh, that was How far am I from my cannon? The other side of the ship. Damn it. But no one's stopping you, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm going to... They're in the doorway. Is it plus dexterity? Sorry? Is it plus dexterity? Um, or it's, or an attack. Attack. it's an attack. No, it's an attack. It's a seven. Oh, what do I... What? What do you Dang add? It. Oh, plus eight? Yeah. Yeah, plus okay. eight. Okay, so it's a... Uh, sorry, guys. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> sorry, 15? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fifteen hits. All right, congratulations. So you hit him, and it um, attacks... It. It's the normal attack, which is the dagger. It's D6, plus the venom attack, so two dice. And then plus four. Uh, that's a seven plus four. Eleven. Is eleven. Eleven. Now these are orcs. They're much tougher than the pirates on the shore. So he howls in rage and seems to go sickly. And the poison. That's a moment. Looks like the poison is going to take effect, and then he shakes it off and is able to keep fighting. What? And what's his response? Well, that was Michael. Mm-hmm. Do they all look the same to you? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, Michael's very angry. Well, this is not the kind of hospitality <laughs> I would come to expect on a ship like this. And he draws whatever weapon he has. Yes, they have both have huge, big clubs. And, yeah. uh, and this guy draws his his scimitar. His scimitar. His, his new Ooh. cutlass. His new cutlass. And he's like, so I don't know if you understood Michael just before, but he's going to fuck you up. Well, that was, it was absolutely an accident. I'm so sorry. An accident? Well, here's a cutlass <laughs> <laughs> And they attack you. And the mole with, the, good, with the colours I gave you. That's right. Yeah. Uh, the mole misses. Uh, fuck friends. Oh, mole misses. Am I wrong? Are you rolling for the, Michael? I'm, I'm, or am yeah, I rolling? rolling for you guys. You're very Michael. disappointed. The colours also they, they both miss you. Um, and so quickly, it's up to you, Frieza. Uh, Frieza is going to cast Witch Bolt at these motherfuckers. The injured one or the non-injured one? Uh, the non-injured one, because I want to take more life, Dave. <laughs> more life, Dave. Uh, that's a 14 plus whatever, so it hits. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah, that's quick talking, but that is true. Yep. Um, great, so what is it, D12? Uh, no, oh, whoa, oh, 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 I don't have my book. D12. Uh, it's a D12? Here's the D12. Thank you. Oh, it's 1 D12 every turn, isn't it? I do 7 damage. No, it's D12, it's, it's, it's D12 plus 5, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, what? It's more if you cast it as a second on the first. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I do that. What's that then? <laughs> what are we doing? How many dice am I rolling? Six, Roll it again, two. I think it'd be oh, two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another 7. 14 right, damage. 14 damage on the uninjured one. He is very hurt, but he's still alive. So they're both Thank still you, alive. Audience. Well done. Thank you, audience. Um, and the next up is you, Filge, who has Phil- just seen him attack with the cutlass you gave him. Field says, Field goes into a rage because of the terrible pun that he made. Yep. And she goes, no, this is an accident. And she gets a magic axe and she chops his head off. Nice. Okay. First thing, the moment you use it, um, the power surges in you and it senses that you want to take life. Um, your wounds, also again, begin to close up and roll that for me. And you, you heal for another five hit points ah. of damage. So as long as you take life, it will give life back to you. And your eyes wide open as you feel its magic pulsing, go and make an attack. What, on someone else? Well, oh, now, my now you attack. Attack. Slightly D20, maybe. Uh, 12 plus axe. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, so 16, that is a... 17. Yep, excellent. So if yep. the damage How of much the, damage does it do? It does D12 as well, this axe. D12. Axe. This one. Or this one. Use a green one. Ah. Oh. Oh, Six. 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 All right, so plus. six plus seven. And you cut him in half. And one of them goes... Goes wide. Baston goes huh. wide, literally, into two different places. Are they both dead or is one still one alive? One is still alive. Okay, I'm going to slash him with my sword. With both of your swords? No, I'm just going to use one sword because I'm pretty good with one sword. All right. Um, but I get two attacks. And I get a 13 and a 20. 20 will do it. Congratulations. Get double damage. Uh, so two plus... Five, seven uh, damage. That's enough. Yeah. So you, you've killed them both, um, but or noise was made in this cabin, and you know there's very little time to act now. 
So, uh, so your are there cover any other, is well and truly blown. Are there any other orcs left on our ship? Yes, there will be all through this ship, um, but there are none in the room in sight to you right now. But they will have just heard the combat. All I'm right. going over. I'm going to go and fire oh, the cannon. Which ship? I thought we were on our own we're, pirate we're on ship. Our we're on the middle ship. Sturge, which all of those pirates are bringing treasure onto right now. And oh, the oh they ca- yeah, that's right. So are they bringing us treasure because we were owed treasure? There was some sort of tithing. Treasure gets yeah. divided on the Sturge into three. Oh, okay. So I guess we got it. We, we go up to. The, we, 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 let's get on the. Let's get onto the deck and then start sailing away. Then and then and, and Baston your, your should ship is full of enemy pirates. Yeah, and Baston has to sh- Baston has to sink the other ship. That's, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go and you're gonna have to cannon. fight your way up onto the deck. All right. Uh, What's our other option? Why don't we yell? Pick a way to die. Stay with us. You die. Go back on the other boat. You die. Your choice. Wait, how can we lure them back onto their how ship? M- how many are on there? Uh, we're, we're drifted away. They can't get back on their ship. Because we cut no, the moorings. The, the Sturge is drifted away. The Emerald Eye is still connected oh, by boarding what? planks. Oh, no. I want, we wanted to cut them both off. The other ones are connected by boarding planks because they're walking backwards and oh, forwards. Well, oh. well, we, we need boat maps. We so, thought well, actually, Ben has a lovely boat map we over thought, here. We He's thought we disconnected both himself. ships. So that's why I said the third ship is the one we've disconnected from now. Yeah. And that's the one we're going to sink with the cannon. Yeah. No, right. So the so the one that the cannon is at point blank range is the Emerald Eye. And that is still connected to the side of your ship. Uh, the other one, which is full of explosives, is drifting away. All right, let's, just, let's, so let's just sink better. their ship then. All right, I'm going to fire that cannon. It's on They're the other, other side of the ship. Yeah, okay. Let's so get, we need to get there then. Okay, so you guys start racing down the corridors? Yep. yep. All right, all yep. pretense of hiding is gone. Uh, you can hear that there are pirates running towards you yep. as you make your way through quickly. But, but they're all going to jump onto our ship, and then we're going to be on a ship that's full of pirates. But what is the other option? The other option Yeah, we is, don't yeah. got another option. We've got to sink the pirate ship. Yep. Do you not have another option? Or can can exa- can can else know are there any boat? small boats on this boat? There is the sloop, all of the... Yep, there are all the little boats. Should we just make a getaway and go back to shore? Row back to shore? But, but I think Drakefeather wants this boat. He wants when a new boat. When have you ever cared <laughs> about what Drakefeather wants? <laughs> really I want to be the captain of the boat. Do you guys really want this boat? I... Long for the sweet release of death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you race towards the other side of the ship and quickly, uh, who's taking point? Uh, I will. All right, quickly make a dexterity check for me, just really quickly. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> quickly as you a can. Dexterity check for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that counts as a fail. Um, oh, no, no, come what, on. 14. All right, 14, I'm what did you get? Uh, 13. 13, oh, okay. No. You guys make it, and but you make enough noise that the pirates are closing in behind you, and as you get to the cannons, another three of the orcish pirates Shit. arrive, um, and they these ones also have big warhammers. Damn it. We need to get free of the ship. But you're next to the cannon now. Okay, right. But that's still How many cannons are there? Just I've only the one loaded one. one. already loaded. Okay, so I aim the cannon below, like down. like It's at, lashed. It's, you don't need to aim it. It's the but I want to hit the waterline so they sink. Um, right, okay. I want to aim it down. It doesn't have a lot of a pintle mounting. It'll do enough damage that it would probably cripple the ship. Okay, I'm going to fire the cannon. All right, so you want to start using the cannon? Yeah. All right, great. So you're working on the cannon. What are you guys doing? Um, I uh, I knocked an, an arrow to my bow and fire it at the neck of one of the uh, pirates. Okay, great. So, Bobby, you can go first. Um, uh, that's a three. <laughs> yep, great. You miss. And Filge? Where are my raptors? <laughs> <laughs> they I are slowly drifting away on On a boat filled with gunpowder. Oh, <laughs> Frieza, are you fucking serious? I, look, I'm sorry about it. It's just they really wanted to stay in their pen. What am I going to do? Fight with raptors? I'm not crazy. No, it hasn't gone very far. It's probably only like a few feet away. A few feet? <laughs> like it's drifting away. It would probably be a long oh. running jump. This seems like not, such a good not, plan. But you're not. But you're not. on the deck, are we? No, you're in the lower <laughs> deck. But you, you know, you could jump through those mooring holes. So this, this is like actually the upper lower floor, and it's where they moor the two ships together. All right, I'll, don't worry. I'll solve it. You just fight these guys. I'll solve it. Solve it? No, you won't. You'll I kill will. Them. I'll solve it. I promise you I'll solve it. If I don't... Where another? He keeps it saying <laughs> solve it, which is... A, w- a like solution? A, like a yeah, final solution? A solution. No. If I don't bring you back your raptors... You uh, don't get your fuck present. Fuck if, present is on you know probation what? If right I don't now. give you back your raptors, if, you know, if you kill these guys and I don't get you my and I don't get your raptors, you can have my cultists, all right? They don't want slaves! <laughs> They're not their cultists. It's very different. One of them is near Fraser. <laughs> oh, okay. Um... <laughs> Oh, tell like her how much. Tell her how valuable you are. Oh, I'm pretty valuable. Uh, well, he said you See? heard him. You See? heard him say. All right, I'm Filch, Filch jumps off the ship onto a small boat and rows towards <laughs> the other boat. 
No, no, so you're going to have to barrel through them. Do you want to charge through them to get to the other side of the ship? No, again? but I need to bring them back on something. I've seen this puzzle, Dave. <laughs> So I'm so going to get Oh, on you also need a chicken and a no, fox, right? No, tell you what, yeah, you can I jump. S- yeah, on the sloop. Okay, make a dexterity check for me. The DC sloop is a small boat, DC right? 11, and to see if you can get through the cannon, the holes that the cannons poke out to get onto the ship. One uh, of the little dexterity? landing Dexterity? Yeah, B12. Yeah, uh, that's a 13. 13, okay. So just you just make it, and Filge dives through past the cannon and lands on one of the boats, and the ropes snap and it lands on the water, but you're on the far side of the boat. So remember, you're on the, you're on the far side of the ship, away from the other ship. Good. All right. And I run I run towards the raptors. You run? You row. Oh sorry, yeah, row towards the raptors. Okay, so you yeah. start yeah, start rowing your way around the ship and now the it's time for the orcs who miss uh, hit and miss you Frizo and they actually they've got big axes. They've got their sort of big uh, warhammers as well and it deals 9 points of damage to you. Oh boy. And that brings us back to you Baston. I fire the cannon. Oh yeah, you've been doing it for a turn and now the cannon fires and so it is an explosion in the room and everybody recoils back smoke and gunpowder everywhere as the emerald eye takes a huge hit to the side and starts lilting dangerously towards your ship and it looks like it's going to crash onto the sturge oh shit and it begins to and everybody suddenly starts panicking and these orcs on the ship with you start like um looking look uncertain and in fact they start to run back Toward, um, towards their sinking ship. Towards their ship. Because Excellent they're concerned idea. that the room that you're in is about to be crushed. Okay, I'm also going to get out of the way. Um, yeah, I want to go up to... Let's get up on the main deck. Mm. Okay, so you guys follow them up onto the main deck? Yep. Confusion? Yep. All right, so you make your way up. Now, you are on your boat and you're rowing around towards the ship full of gunpowder. Yep. Um, and you make your way up to sort of the side of the ship where you can try and climb up if you want. Yeah, I do that. Okay, cool. So there's ropes and stuff, so it's easy. So we don't need to make the roll. And you get up onto the ship but you're going to have to leave your boat behind. That's all. Oh, no, I, I've tied the boat, my boat to the big boat. Okay, cool. So you're going to do that? Yeah. All right, so you, you're up on, you climb up onto it and you see it's all empty and your two raptors are in a, their tiny pen where Frieza has co- carelessly left them. Um, I run up to them um, and I fling open the door and I say, Me babies! Mummy, come to rescue you! All right, make it. You want to try to get them to jump off the side onto a boat. Is that right? Yep. All right, make it. I, re- I reckon that Filch could probably tuck two of them under each arm. <laughs> yeah, what's your strategy? How are you going to do this? Oh, well, they're going to run towards me and I'm going to hug them, then I'm going to pick them up. And so you're going to. Okay, so yeah. make an animal handling check for me. DC. Uh, th- yeah, let's just say uh, this one's also DC 13. Uh, great, I got a one plus. <laughs> <laughs> now, one. Now make a dexterity check for me, DC 13. <laughs> Um, that, that, that's a four. Okay, all right. Um, so what's happened so far is you go, my babies, like this, and they kind of ignore you, and then you clumsily lunge at them, and they both jump away. And you remember at this point, they've only known you for about a day and a half. So you have to find another way to get them to follow. So you rode both of them at the same time once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're yeah, to get trust. Meanwhile, on the deck, you guys are up there, your cultists, the orcs, everyone's mingling, and there's panic, and nobody yet knows what's caused it, but you can see now the masts of the ships are cracking into each other, and they are becoming entangled, the rigging, which means that if the Emerald Eye dies, there's a good chance it will drag the Sturge oh, under with it. We really okay. Is there up. another Is there another ah. lifeboat? Is there another sloop? There are, and in fact, already the sailors are all running to the lifeboats. But again, the, the bay is only like 120 feet away. Okay, um, so I make a dash for a lifeboat. Okay, you guys are going to go for a lifeboat? Uh, no. Okay, uh, Bobby, you make it because you're going by yourself, because you're nimble. You make your way in and you start lowering a lifeboat into the water. You have a lifeboat. Okay. I'm going to cut the ropes that the Emerald Eye is attaching to my ship. Okay, cli- you make a climb check for me, athletics. Okay. You're going to get up into the, the mast. captain doesn't let his ship sink. DC 14. Oh, boy. It's a two, two, two. <laughs> two, right. two, 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 two you missed the two. cue for the lifeboats doing it and try to get yourself up but become tangled in the rigging yourself. Um, Frieza, what are you doing? All right. With my last uh, level two spell slot, I'm going to cast Fly again. Yep. And really? I am going to <laughs> fly over to Filge. Okay. So you fly over and you land. Yeah, and you're... Yep. Where well, you see Filge plaintively calling towards two raptors that yes. don't want a lot to do. And then I'm going to... Don't forget, you, you have speak with I'm, animals. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to speak to the... Are these all the noises you're trying to... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I, so what, what's, what's, what are the raptors' voice again? 
Like German? Oh. It was some kind of unionist. I can't remember. I think they just have regular voices. Does everyone remember what the? I thought the Raptors were just new made. voices. New voices. New voices. What's the Raptor? What's the Raptor uh, voice? Jizet. No, it's not Jizet. Um, uh, Look, it's Russian. It's not a Russian. Okay. Um. Hello, dear Raptors. Please, please ignore this stupid woman. Uh, you can't understand this. It's space speech. Um, uh, but you don't need to do the accent. Oh, I don't. No, because I can talk to the. I'm talking to the Raptors. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. That was the game we were doing. That's yeah, fine. You have like very thick accent. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I learned in. You um, have like thick accent to the point of like uh, insulting. <laughs> it's, 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 it's unintentional. I'm sorry. I learned this from a uh, old man who you, was racist. You, you learned this from like Borat DVDs or whatever. <laughs> yes. It's like Kazakh. Um, Marepta, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what do you want? Um, please ignore this woman. This uh, this boat. She's uh. She's um, uh, rigged with explosions. You, uh, you will uh, die very soon. Are these what these battles are? Uh, the battles? No, the down. You smell? Can you smell the gunpowder? Yes, I thought this was like a thing. I, yeah, okay. Yes, it's very dangerous. You should come with me now. Hey, Kate. Uh, yeah, we should go. Is this the? These are what the Raptors don't call them each other: Sherbert and Cherry Cola. No, it's like Kate and Phil. <laughs> 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 Uh, so I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, they they, they, I, they I, I, I'm daintily going, ignoring yeah. Filge. They kind of walk around her and they hop down onto the boat. By the and way, they just kind of sit there like then, like they like w- like they sit in the boat and like one of them just like crosses their leg. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like leaving the two of you on the boat together. Okay, um, you, I know you have little arms, but you need to row. <laughs> you really need to row with your tiny uh, little rapper arms. Cannot, uh, like, this is hard. You're All on right, the deck. You're right, so I'm gonna, like, can Filge, you fly yeah, anymore? No, yeah, I can still fly. Also, oh, Raptors' arms aren't that small. They could row a boat. Yeah, fine. That's no, like, a T-Rex. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so uh, uh, Filge, Filge go back down to the boat <laughs> and, and row them back to the Sturge. And then I'm going to... To the Sturge? Row... Oh, I should go back so to, to the shore. To the shore, to the shore. Yeah. To the shore. Yep. Yeah. And then I am going to fly to the shore. Okay, so you're flying to the shore. You guys make your way to the shore. Um, I'm still in a boat uh, by the Sturge. And I'm like, Bastan! I'm, I'm not leaving <laughs> going my down ship. With ship. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is your new ship. Also, it's what's the freaking plan here? We're going to go and hang out with the pirates after we sunk their fucking fleet? Let's not talk about thinking? it right now. This is your new ship. It's called the Handsome Boy. You're the captain. Come down. I am the captain of the Handsome Boy. Now. Oh, that one? Yes. Oh, he's nearly got me. D- do, is my ship going to sink? The big it's, one? Look, y- y- with enough men, you could maybe save it, but you don't have a lot of men, and there are pirates all around, so you have to make a difficult decision. All right, well, he's convinced me I'll be the captain of the handsome boy. <laughs> <laughs> so being downgraded from a captain once of a flagship, one of the most powerful pirate flagships in all of Chult, now the captain of a small dinghy for six with first mate Bobby and no one else, um... <laughs> Four rowboats leave, and it is only at that point that Frieza remembers that his entire cult and foundling of his new no, religion... I, I was going to fly over the top of them. Oh, okay. I will give you this. And so, as these three ships, uh, boats make their way back to the shore, two keys richer and one key still remaining, Frieza makes one last pass over the doomed Sturge. Uh, and I say, uh, Cultus to me! And uh, just inspired by my speech, they all jump into the water and swim to shore. Like lemmings? Yeah. That's right. actually a myth. Well, okay, well, um, anyway. well, I don't know about you guys. Uh, let's uh, uh, let's uh, let's do a bit of show of hands. Who here can swim? <laughs> and nobody puts their hands up. All right, and they I'm go. Just, no, 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 no. And they go. Well, you heard the man, and they all jump off the boat. <laughs> all right, that's so true. Such is their conviction. Can I save one of them? <laughs> yeah, you can carry one. All right, Isn't I save that, that guy. temporary hit points. Um, Isn't that less temporary hit points? <laughs> doesn't, I, oh, don't yeah. know if, I don't know if founding a religion and then convincing them to engage in a mass suicide... And that's count. not murder? I guess! No. Yeah, in look, any law record, Dave. I, yeah, sure, you get some temporary hit points, but you also get Clyde, and you yeah. pick Clyde up, who is the, the, I suppose, disciple, the prophet, even, of the Church of Frieza. They have been chosen! <laughs> yeah, he um, says. Uh, uh, Clyde, um, laugh at them as they drown. <laughs> and as I Clyde tries to laugh, <laughs> but his heart's really not in it. Uh, meanwhile, what it remains of Elok's crew desperately try to disentangle two ships now locked in a ballet that will take them to the depths of the Ghost of Dave's locker. It is up to the, <laughs> the four of you and Clyde, I suppose, another NPC that Ben has picked up who will no doubt go on for a long career with the dragon friends make their way to the shore who knows what awaits 
perhaps treasure, perhaps chaos, perhaps madness, perhaps even another fuck givering will be all that is left for these dragon friends. Thank you. <laughs> Was just quick. You, you weren't prepared to let that ship go, were well, you? Well, look, the, <laughs> the whole, that episode, we woke up, fought some dudes, went to the ship, and went back to shore. <laughs> from your perspective, maybe. Yeah, Phil, Phil had a very different perspective. Phil had a very <laughs> different episode. Can we go a quick NPC check? Yeah. So all the cultists are dead except for Clyde. No, that's not true. All the cultists are in the water. Oh, okay. You don't. None of them can swim, and you Some don't know how many them. of them will survive. What but you have saved Clyde. Okay. What about Gribbit? Yeah, Gribbit is in I the. Gribbit is like. No, he's on the gunpowder ship. I never oh. took him off. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Wait, so I went and rescued the raptors <laughs> and not Gribbit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gribbits is on the gunpowder ship, and Drake <laughs> Feather, I guess, is still in the Sturge. Yeah, of course, uh, Drake. Drake Feather's in the Sturge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Oh. In hindsight, that's a more grim episode than we realized. <laughs> <laughs> what well, was already a pretty grim episode? But you know, like you got some lock picks, and you got like it's you got a new axe. You got laid. It's not all. Oh, I got left my laid. jacket on the Sturge. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, has, uh, did we ever find out the name of uh, Filger's fuck buddy? Yeah, Elok. Yeah, Elok. Is, is Elok, did he wake up from the thing? And You'll, you maybe you will find out. I th- it's unlikely that they're all going to die. They're just they're trying to save two very expensive ships. They're just the going to be really, really pissed off at us. <laughs> going to be very cross. But all Gribbets. Of them. Oh man, can we open the next episode with Gribbets giving <laughs> people a pep talk as <laughs> they sail ship? in an empty ship full of gunpowder? <laughs> <laughs> Who's people? Is it just a row of barrels? Yeah, yeah there's no one else. Can we do that now? Yeah. Sorry, no, Drake, we do Drake we Feather rigged it up so it would, so it would go automated. by itself. It's it's automated. Why didn't he leave? I don't know. We didn't take it. He's like the Raptors. I don't know. Oh, I mean, God. as the person who plays Gribbits, maybe you should have shown some initiative. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's on me. That's yeah. fine. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. It's fine. I think he's just singing a song to himself. <laughs> yeah. All around me are familiar. <laughs> Thank you. See you next week. Bye. Thanks, guys.